<laughs> Hello? <laughs> you guys. You guys. Can I just say, I was just having a quiet, peaceful Friday? Friday day. Meet up with this guy, the first thing he says, you look really tired. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, because I have no makeup on. And it's just no, like, no, 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 it's not that, it's not that. He's fucking with me, it's not that. You did look tired. And I, you know I, what he I, said? I do, no, I do look tired. No, you were like, I had leg day. I'm okay. I caught that. It's a combination. No, no, no. Because the tired gets from leg day, and the fact that fa- I'm very, but it's funny to me because. Dude, my, I thought you had makeup on, because your lips were glossy. <clears throat> You really want to fight me already? No, 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 not at all. Oh, so you want to really fight? <laughs> no, no, I'm good. Oh, I this boy wants to. He wants to start you from the beginning. Not close. It's called. It's called lip balm, Sean. Lip balm. No, but if the lip balm doesn't get that glossy. <laughs> but I just thought it was funny because my trainer was also. Look, he saw me today. My physical training. He was like, "Is something wrong, Edward?" I was like, "No, why? You just look really tired." <laughs> I was like, "Fuck." <laughs> this is why I'm gonna turn into a <laughs> radical feminist and just <laughs> fuck all men. This is why I wear makeup. How y'all doing? <clears throat> yeah. How, how y'all I love your doing? hair too, by the way. You did the. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I think you look better with open bangs, though. With what? Open bangs, like. Open bangs? Oh. Uh, I think you look better with open bangs. Um, who's a beauty YouTuber? Who? Me, so your opinion? I'm just kidding. Yeah, I, I get that a lot, but also I have like a five finger forehead, so it's giving a plain landing strip. <laughs> I would be totally fine with my forehead, except for the fact that I have like a slanted forehead. Where? Let me see. My brow bone protrudes, okay. and like it goes like this. So I look like. But you can get a filler though. You want me to get filler on this entire part of my forehead? You can't. Well, how many CCs would that be? <laughs> I look like I'm giving a uh, Neanderthal. You know, but there are like, forehead p- uh, the fillers though. They do implants. Oh, yeah. there's forehead implants. Yeah, you know the, the when you're in history. See, look at that. Your little tag thing fits in my head. <laughs> 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 Come on, Erica. Um, would you? You know the in history class. There's a picture of like the you start as like we started out as like animals and then monkeys and like, uh, uh, evolution. 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 Uh-huh. I'm like in the middle. <laughs> You're great as you are, Edward. Don't change anything. Thanks. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so we had dinner, right? Yeah, we had dinner. Girl. It was good? The way, the because we ordered, like, we were hungry. You had boxing. I had, like, day. So we were starving. Yeah. And we ordered, like, five different <clears throat> things. And the girl was like, are you sure you want to order that many things? Because it's it's five dishes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're like you're like no, we're not gonna leave anything. <laughs> I was like, I'll have well. Uh, we ate we it did. all. We, we ate. Left, we left some of the fries, but still. Yeah. Also, because um, have you been to Olive Garden? No. Olive Garden, because no. if you've all been to Olive Garden, they always give you like a uh, salad and bread first. I always get oh. full from that before my main food even oh, comes out. So, so you don't touch it. Yeah, I try not to touch the food because they gave us. The food in a really weird order. They um they give us the calamari first. They give us the sides first. The <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then they give us the soup. And then the main mains came out, no? Yeah. So Where did we eat? What was the place called? I forgot the fucking name. Well, it's, it, it, that was your second time going too. Yeah. It's it was, a really it, weird name though. We said, it was know. some Italian, yeah, some Italian stuff. fusion confusion name. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what are we doing today? So I'm gonna do Edward's makeup. Oh yeah. So he brought his. Oh look at this fucking Burberry. Too. And he gave it to me, my friend. So, okay. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, whenever I see content like this, whenever I see videos like doing my brother's makeup, or like my brother, no, my brother does my makeup, or my boyfriend does my makeup, I, I feel so tough to pay watching that because, I know I it's supposed to be fun with the boyfriend not knowing. Like, literally knowing zero about makeup. Mm. But I hate the way they struggle. Okay. So, for you, I will guide you. I will okay, tell you, perfect. I will give you, I'll give you the product. Perfect. You know, I'll tell you what to do. But, because I really hate, you know, and also, I feel like a lot of times, guys, when I do content with idols especially, mm. and I tell them to do my makeup, mm. they can fuck up the makeup a lot. Mm. Like, they, like, smash shit in. Like, right. Don't even get me started. So. I watched the stream where Edward did your makeup, and I loved it. Oh, 
My mom was my mom even loved it. My mom was like, I like him. The world. <laughs> the world. I was on audio on radio. Like I was telling you, the PDs love me. You can't really like because you're such a showman, so you can't really like. Yeah, they were like, oh my God, you speak so well. I was like, I speak so well. What does that even mean? What do you guys talk about though when you go on radio? The particular topic of that uh, episode was um, what's it called when you go on long trips in Korea and you make a a, a rest stop? I know what you mean. Uh, is it cheap or something? Yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm. Where, where yeah. The 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 pit stops uh, yeah, yeah, where yeah. you like stop oh, to oh, um, use the restaurant or eat food. Fuck, what was it called? I forgot. Ah, uh, but yes, I know what you mean though. Yeah, so I was eating the grill as up. Well. Chigeso. Yeah, majo majo. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So we were talking about that, but a good chunk of the beginning was just us talking about names. Names. Yeah. Names. What names? Um. If you, when your parents get angry at you, if they call you by your full name, did that you? No, she just said yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said yeah. Yeah, she didn't really call my full name. She just says yeah. Good morning, y'all. Sorry, my mobile. It's fine. Yes. Good morning. Yeah, my mom doesn't do that. She uh adds an A to the end of my name oh. to make it feminine. Eduarda, oh. and then she calls me. When she's pissed. Jokes on her. Okay. I suck dick. Oh, <laughs> oh we, can, we can't talk about it like that. No, we can't. Okay. 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 Oh, my one, my friend, when she was doing Twitch, I wasn't allowed to talk like that. Why? Oh, I don't fucking know. She's trying to maintain some kind of... Oh, um, come on. But, so. Okay. Wait a little bit, or how do she's on her Yes. Okay, so first, you need to correct, because I got a beard going on, and I've got a red, I have here. Okay. So we need to cover that, that okay. shit. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to give you color corrector. Color, color correcting Monjara. Do you know what color correcting is? Color correct. Can I guess? Can I guess? <laughs> can I, wait, wait, wait. It's when you correct the color. <laughs> that was actually what I was going to say. Exactly. So, <laughs> color correct, like for the lips? To make sure it blends My in. Skin. The, uh, mm-hmm. So, you're familiar with the color wheel? Uh, to a degree, yes. What's the opposite of green, uh, red? I literally told you the answer. Green. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but what's the opposite of blue? Purple. Orange. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the beard area is blue. The cheeks are looking a little red, so you're going to use the opposite colors. Okay. Green and orange. Okay. Right? Okay. So I use this brush. You want some candy? You keep offering me this candy and snacks. No, really, because I'm I good. Have... Really? Mm hmm. Where the f- did I put it? Did I not bring it? I will. I didn't bring my brush. I guess you're gonna have to use a. I can use my hands, man. Girl, you gotta use a puff. You better use a fucking puff. Okay. Here, you can use this. Okay, I get this, right? Yo! Okay! You, you better fucking work, bitch! Okay. He said. He said. <laughs> hey! Ah. Yes! So. Here's the orange color corrector and here's the green corrector. Okay, so I blend it. I was supposed to blend it in your seal area. So you have here, here, and my pukun case here. Okay, so, but they're all just, just green and orange? Everything? All of them? Uh, the red part, you put, you put the green. Okay. Here. And then the, the seal area is the orange. Okay, so I, I have to put the green first, right? Oh, we're fucked. I put the green first. Yeah, you can, you can you start with either. Together, yeah. please. Thank you. Huh? Hmm. That needs to be eh? Boy, I'm gonna fuck you up. But, but, this is the green one. The green goes in the red area. This is my suyum. I'll, just trust me. I know what I'm doing. Can you look at the camera, please? Thank you. Are you... No. Is, it, is this a bit? No, 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 no. Are no, you, no. Are you like... You is, trust me. Is this a sketch right now? Yeah, trust, trust the process. I take makeup very seriously, honey. Uh, if too. you fuck me up... Uh, please. Oh, fuck. Yes, sir. And then... Mm. Right there, mm. and then, okay. <gasps> Bruh! <laughs> oh, you do have thick hair, huh? Because I'm a Filipino boy. And then this it is goes on goes where, on Suyong. which is where you should have put that, but. <sighs> um, Edward's definitely fucked, girl. <laughs> look at that. Mato, I don't like. You already look pretty, man. You already look pretty. Girl. Oh shit. My wait, wait, how am I supposed to do I just. Like that? Mm hmm. Mm. 
Do you, dude, that looks fucking good. You literally blended two seconds, you're like, this looks amazing. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have no upper lip? <laughs> yeah. No, 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 this is just, this is the beginning. I look, I look like, I look like I'm about to call the manager. Um, can I speak to your manager? I, I look like, uh, oh my god, not bad. Okay, <laughs> he said, I really let him try it. I the thing is, makeup is a process, so I have to wait till the end. It, exactly. could, it could turn out really well. See? It's all covered now. Right? Mm, this is just color correcting because you're going to do foundation after. Okay. You're actually quite soft. Usually guys can be very aggressive. Oh, it's surprising sure. because you're a boxer, so I thought you'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's next? Uh, next is actual foundation, so... Okay. Cushioning there, it's a mesh cushion. So it looks different. Um, but same cushion? Or? Say, yeah, you can use that. It's backwards. Oh. The point should be facing out. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you just kind of... This look. is the foundation. Mm -hmm. Okay. You just lightly dip in there. Can I just, like... Is it all over the face? I guess so. Okay. Do you look at some questions? Ready? Yeah. Oh shit. Ooh. I felt that one. <laughs> I felt wet. <laughs> Keep slipping. I love how the first question is where's the best place for a nose job in Korea? No! <laughs> you wanna answer that? Mmm. But this is the. I, I find this kind of question hard to answer because it's like it makes it sound like I've been to like forty different nose job places. And the thing is, you know, did you know in Korea you're not allowed to um, vlog at like plastic surgery places and say the name? It's actually against the law. That's why a lot of my videos where I were was vlogging at a um, clinic or something. Mm -hmm. uh, if I say the name, they the government literally calls and asks me to take it down because you're not supposed to promote a place. With the name in there. You what can show the... What if it's sponsored? Well, they're good. Well, it doesn't matter. Really? A lot of hospitals don't know about this rule, though. Oh. So, girl, I get my nose done and post the video and I take okay. it down after a week. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> he said... <laughs> I mean, it's like... It goes up, though. Oh, it doesn't. Huh? Oh, like when you push it? Yeah. Oh, girl, yeah, she's... she's She said... She's like a fucking katana. You know Squidward's house? Oh yes, I that's do. That's me. Squidward's house? Nah, that's too sharp for Squidward's house. You're like a... <sighs> You're like a machete. Like a Russian machete. This man literally just called my nose a machete. I don't know how I feel about that. What celebrity are you tired of hearing about? <laughs> he he no. had an answer. No, no, he no, said. no, 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 no. That's, that's, they're asking you, right? No, we're asking both of us. What am I tired of? Mm. Um, I can't lie. I mean, it probably has to... I'm not tired, in a sense, but it's mm. like, it does get to... Mm. People just define you as a Korean, as, as BTS. Ah, uh, I see. They just think, oh, Korean BTS. For me, I'm so tired of seeing articles mm. on... I mean, I, we all know they're trash words. Like, L-K-pop, Karibu. It's like, every single article is about BTS, but the thing is, it's not... They're not articles worth reading. It's literally like... Jungkook can be on live and he can cough and they'll make a whole article about it. Mm. I'm tired of seeing like, this isn't just BTS, this is any idol group where it's just, or celebrity where it's like they make articles about the stupidest shit. Do I see your neck too? Or? Mm. That's my... See, he said, toy. <laughs> he said, do I have to do your neck? And I said, no. I said, no. But he was just like, <laughs> I'm like, right here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me open the window. I love, good. How, I love how serious Sean is taking this. Macho, it's good. Some some people literally. Okay. I know you know well, content I want whatever. You look good, man. Yeah, some people do it just to be funny, mm. and that shit pisses me off. No, I'm trying. I'm actually one of the. I'm trying to try. Yeah, especially after I made you look so damn good. Yeah. Exactly. For you to come back and try to make me look like trash. I gotta pay back. Pay it forward. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Let me, let me. So what's next? Next, oh, you're done? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll look at a, a close and we're all done. Next is, um, hmm. Eyebrows? 
Yeah, we can do eyebrows. Luckily for you, mm -hmm. I don't draw my eyebrows. I literally just color them. So you just have to use Ah, those. okay. So... Yeah. But you can't do Like you're brushing them. Ah, so you're just like... Mm. Okay, okay. It's easy if you hold it horizontally. Okay. Ah, you're okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're doing it. Okay. I'm pleasantly surprised at how good your look, your face looks so far. What? I'm pleasantly surprised. Did I th I'm sorry, I just had a brain fart. Did I read that correctly? Yeah, what, what I'm you pleasantly think? surprised about how good your face looks so far. They're surprised by your work. But keep in mind, we're on the internet. You could have really bad connection, and I'm looking beautiful right now. You do look beautiful. But... You do. Oh. Okay, Earlier, when we went to the restaurant, hmm. uh, Sean had to go use the restroom. But the, he asked me, do you have to use the restroom? But I don't think anyone's ever asked me that. What? Where, because usually people don't, the, you would just say like, oh, I'm going to the restroom. Mm -hmm. And that's a sign of like, oh, when I come back, then you can go to the restroom next. But, no, if you wanted to go, I'll say, oh, go first. Because uh, the vibe I got was like, you want to go to the bathroom together? I was like, <laughs> you can go together. Take it. I don't, like I don't play like that. I'm not gay, bro. I'm not <laughs> fucking gay. The fuck? Okay, so do I have to do more on your eyebrows? No, that's good, actually. <laughs> that's kind of charming. Next is contour. Okay. So, uh, so I have this to is where it's going to get fucked up. So you're going to contour my nose, uh. and you're going to contour my face. Uh. Okay, so for my nose... Oh, I did bring my fucking brush, my concealer brush. Fucking A. This is for my face, and this is for my this is for my nose. Okay. And this is for my face. Okay. So hey, can I put it here? Yeah. Put it? So your nose, I have to make it look sharp. Mm. That's the goal, right? And luckily for you, there's a guideline because this here looks like a, it well, it looked like a nose before I dug into it. Okay. And this is supposed to be like a face. So this for the nose, the lighter color. So it's here. Mm -hmm. The face, the bigger pot. That's mm -hmm. for the face. So okay. fighting. So this is the nose, right? The small one. Yes. Okay, so I have to and help because it's, it's at an angle, right? Yeah. So you have to kind of follow the cut like this. Okay, so mm. I have to do it like this. Up, like. Mm -hmm. I, I want to okay. map map it out. Okay. I'll give you a tip. Eagle hago, and then tap it a few times. Wait. Hey! Yeah. Oh, oh my! <gasps> okay, come on, pony. Call me some Isabe. Yo. Like that, because I'm trying to follow that line. Yeah. Sean can do his mom's makeup someday since he learned from Edward. Maybe. Um, maybe. maybe. Before, because it's your mom, you'd have to learn how to do eyeliner and eyelashes mm. and mascara. Because I only did idol, boy idol makeup on you. Can okay. I do one for you? Bowl. Huh? Bowl. Uh, I, like eyeliner? Oh, like the full, full thing? Yeah. God, I don't know about that. <laughs> Okay. And then, where? What are the current trends in Korea? Makeup, fashion, food. Tanguru. Tanguru. Girl, the, the girls love tanguru. The thing is, it's not even real tanguru. What? Apparently, it's like a different kind of... Like, real tanguru is made with different things, apparently. Is you it know, sugar and fruit? Apparently, it's a, it's a certain type of sugar they use. Because, uh, you know, in Korea, when you get tanguru, there's a cup at the bottom yeah. to catch the falling. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, real tanguru doesn't drip. Oh. Yeah. So, it's a different kind of sugar that they yeah. use? Yeah. He doesn't want to talk. He's, he's too concentrated. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm done with the nose. <laughs> it's my first time, right? It's my first time. Now, if I, if I wasn't looking like Squidward's house, now I'm looking like Squidward's house. But honestly, I do my I do my nose contour the same way on my own channel, so I don't even blame you. Tip too. Yo, come on, tip. Okay. And then? And then you take that brush, okay. and then you do the face. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just follow the natural jawline. Okay, okay. Yeah. Or you can be like Espa Ning Ning and have brown shit stayed on the side of your face. Girl, that makeup artist did her fucking dirty that day. Mm hmm. Just follow. Please blend it, Sean. I think it is blended. It's just. You just put a lot. <laughs> and then you want to get that mm. Yo. Blend the jawline, right? Mm -hmm. Blend the jawline? 
Yeah. You know, you know I miss it. Let us know in the comments if you know, if you've seen that, um, I forgot the name, I think it's called Lipstick Prince or something. Mm -hmm. It's like this old show, it's not that old, it's a few years old. Um, <clears throat> they would have male idols doing girls' makeup on the show. Okay. Basically, my YouTube channel. Uh -huh. But like, for, you know, but girl, they don't do that shit these days. They would never, what? they would never do that kind of show these days. Because the fans would go crazy. Why would you fucking Don't touch, touch my man? Yeah. Uh, they could. Mm -mm, they could never. So your your fans are gonna come in. No, they don't care. The base actually looks good. Also, Sean, what happened to make him look like a clown? You t you told him you're gonna make him look like a clown. No, I specifically said I want to make you look like a disco ball. Oh, you got me fucked up. No, because of the glitter. Born to be. Born to be. Born to be. Okay. Ba oh, ah. What do I do? I don't know words. <clears throat> Next, um, hmm, powder, I guess. Powder? What powder? Yeah. Um, chopa. Yo. This one's it? Yep. <gasps> Did I not bring powder? Oh my god, I'm such a dumb bitch. Maybe, sir. <laughs> Maybe, sir, open your freaking eyes, you, you, you chink. Yeah, we can say that. We can say that. <laughs> we can say that to each other, right? No, I don't think I don't think I brought powder. Oh. I didn't bring powder. Okay. Um. Let's do eyeshadow. Okay. Oh, my favorite. Okay. I, I'm really excited about this right now. So, you can honestly, I have a certain look I do with this eyeshadow palette, but no, no I exactly you, know what to do. you can do whatever you I want. I know what the fuck so. to do. I got this. As soon as I saw the colors, it just worked. I I, I get it. Girl. Okay, I trust you. So why are they all small? Different? They're all different shapes depending on what you need. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'll hold the brush for you soon. Okay. I can just leave it. No. Okay. <laughs> mm. right. Oh no! Give him a smoky eye. Oh yeah. <laughs> he. I love how he's starting. Show them the color you started with. This one, the darkest. He. <laughs> Y'all, no. we're fucked. <laughs> Don't, don't open your eyes yet. Don't open. Don't, no, 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 no. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I'm not gonna look, but I want the chat to see what we have so far. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not the fact that you laugh like no, that no, just no, no, now no, no, no. tells me all I need to know. He said. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Hmm. Oh my god, this is so good. This is great. Edward, this is this is great. You might want to hire me. Oh my goodness, you look like a diva. Uh, what did you say? You look like a diva. Is that what? 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 You look like a diva. I look like a diva. Yeah, like a diva. Like Why? A, like Whitney Houston. Because of this one eyeshadow. Uh huh. Oh my god. You know what I realized on the way here? What? I forgot to bring makeup remover. So I'm gonna be on the bus looking like this. I have makeup, I have something so Okay. Or you can use it like a foam cleanser. Or you can use it like a foam cleanser. Uh -huh. You guys. I see the chat going up. I'm scared. I'm real scared. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is great! The fact that this dark eyeshadow is going all the way up to the brow bone, I'm so scared right now. But... Okay. Did you just blend it onto the nose? What? I feel like I'm gonna look like the, the cover art of uh, Black Swan. No, no, no. The film, not the, not the girl group. <clears throat> but also, I love how you've been using one brush for everything. That's what I call sufficient. Oh, uh, if you need to keep using it, you know, oh, I was just saying. My ass uses, I have like 35, of like 60 different eyeshadow brushes that do the, all the exact same thing. Let me read the, I wanna see the comments. I'm literally trying to trust the process. No! 
This is what I look like in 2008. No, someone said Mad Max Edward. No. Oh my god. Okay. It's not bad. You said trust the process, right? Well, at least you can see the shimmer and the sparkle. No way. I thought I was going for like that big smoky makeup look. I mean, the person that said Mad Max Edward, I think they were right. I think it looked kind of good though. In what planet would this look good? Mad Max? I look like those people on the makeup addiction subreddit that post looks like this and are like, I can't tell if they're serious or they're joking and they're like, what do you think about my makeup, guys? Like, right now, I don't know if you're joking or if you're like you. I think if we put eyeliner, it'll be good. I think eyeliner can fix it. Clean up the edges, it'll look okay. Honestly, we'll do all this, and then you can actually use the, pu the makeup puff we use to kind of... Okay, okay, okay. Kind of clean up the sides. Okay. Maybe we can get kind of like a, a kind of grungy look. Okay, cool. You look like you haven't slept in a hundred years. So I want you to take that com that comment, mm -hmm. and I want you to embody I'll, that. I will embody it, and I'll make it to 10 years. But you're always handsome. Thank you. <laughs> What's next? Eddie, you look like Tamin and Move. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing. Well, if that, we'll just go, we'll just go, this is conceptual makeup. So what's next? Next is, um, Taiso? Mm hmm You look well? You don't have to do eyeliner or anything? Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, but the thing is, I, I, just, I didn't bring pen liner, so I actually, the, the shade that you used in the beginning, mm. I use... Ah, jogum jogum, you kind of draw the I line. Use, you know? I use this sharper type of brush ah, okay. to make, if you want to do eyeliner. Of course I do. I mean, if we're, you guys, he did the thing... He used this the, the brush that he used to dip into that black shadow, he dipped it into the, the shimmer. Mommy Apple. Can you get rid of it? What do you think I should get the Yeah, I'll get you some. <laughs> Thank you. He is like crying for hours to make me. <laughs> I look like I broke up with someone. <laughs> or someone broke up with me. Right now I'm in a state of mind. Like all that I'm not, I, think you, I think you look pretty good. Uh, no tears left to cry. How many lovers do I go through to find you? I think you're pretty good though. <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> okay, now can, can I have one more, please? Oh, of course. Thank you. I can see the British shoe. Ah, that's all right. So, you can use this to kind of. You can tap, tap. Yeah. And then you can, like, draw okay. a line if you want to. Oh, yeah. Could yeah. you close your eyes, please? It's always, can you close your eyes? <sighs> oh, I want to talk to you about this. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all are watching this, if you saw the drama on Twitch with that, that fucking, that girl that was like, that brought her mod onto her, onto her stream and was treating him like trash. He's like, all right, if we get 500 in donations, then I'll kiss them. Ew, I don't want to kiss them. Oh my God, oh, this is nasty, this is nasty. Oh. But obviously they, they reached the $500 did, goal. Did, did they kiss? She like pecked him off. You can pop it so. Okay. Mm -hmm. But she was overreacting. She's like, oh my god, I'm like, I, I need to wash out my mouth. It was literally nothing. Mm -hmm. But more so than that, the fact that she was shitting on him the whole time. But the dude was just like super sipping for her. So the thing is, he there's a really famous streamer and YouTuber that he that contacted him for an interview mm -hmm. and to talk about the situation. But the, the mod that was being shit on the whole time, he just wouldn't get it. He didn't realize the girl was treating him like trash. Because he was so into her. Mm. So he just was like, no, we're, we're friends. It's just that, you know, that's just us. Mm. But the thing that people do for love, the things, the things that people do for love, you know what I mean? I'm so, I'm, I know, you're really, I'm so I try to talk. That's so good. Oh, this person said that is terrible. But I think they're talking about the, the situation I just mentioned on Twitch. Oh. But we, but after you do the eyeliner and look, and that's the first comment I see. <laughs> I think that looks pretty good. I love how Sean is touching up with the tissue. <laughs> yeah, because I had to kind of like take it off a bit. Honestly though, this looks like me when I tried to experiment with eyeliner in high school. When I was trying to go for the emo look. 
You had your face too, right? Mm, a little bit. I tried. It was a mix of like K-pop idol and like emo. My my idol at the time. You was... had an emo face. I remember you telling me. Kind of. My my inspiration at the time was Super Junior. When they had like the really long hair. Ah. Uh, yeah. What song did they make at the time? The vampires that have been covered for such. I look like, uh, ne 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 Nosferatu. That's what I look like. Nosferatu. I think it looks pretty good. The way he says, it, I think it looks pretty good, and he just walks away. Okay, what's next? It looks like he's been punched by someone, which I think is appropriate because you're a boxer now. So. I think you look great. Anyway, I blush. Blush, Hapshida. I'm sure you know how to use blush. What's a blush? You put it on the cheeks to make the thing like I'm glowing from within. Oh, like as if I, as if you drank. I guess si similar placement, yeah. Okay, but like on your cheeks, right? Mm -hmm. Do I have to tap this too? Just tap it? In? I guess so, yeah, if you want, you know. It's usually a good rule of thumb to tap off excess powder. But at this point, with the eyes looking like this, I don't think it matters if you put too much or not. <laughs> Cleopatra, is that you? I'm dead! Uh, true, though. It's giving... Hey guys, this is my first year in drag. It's Halloween, Halloween, my first time in drag. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, to, welcome to the stage. What would be my drag name looking like this? Hmm? My drag queen name. I like it rough. You are crazy. This boy is crazy. He just said, "I like it rough." <laughs> boy, <laughs> stay still. I can't Sorry, hear you. There's a there's a drag queen I met in uh, Itaewon. Mm -hmm. You know what her name is? Paris Faggett. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Paris now, baguette. Don't get it, but then there is this bakery called Paris baguette, baguette. in Korea, and their drag name was Paris baguette. <laughs> okay, that's such a that's so, so clever. Genius. Yeah, honestly, can't wait to see her on uh, Drag Race Korea. You should that, have her if like that ever happens. Her YouTube channel. People. Yeah, well, honestly. Kiss rock band, I'm dead. <gasps> You're right, I do look like I'm about to audition for Kiss. Hi guys! I'm trying to go for the 80s glam look. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Mm. Okay, see? I blended it, I made sure, because the eyes were strong, so I made sure I blended it with some pink cheeks. So it has that cuteness, but it's not too strong. You're trying to get that balance of cute and uh, aggressive? Yeah. I, I look mean, but I have a soft side. You know? They said, turn on Ab ABBA. <laughs> Dancing in, feel it, feel it. Blush is good. <laughs> they said, blush is good. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of this life is like, just lips. Edward looks like an idol. See? What'd I say? Don't be lying to this man. What did I say? Don't be fucking lying to this man. What'd I say? What did I say? I don't know. I said I said it. I, I told you that I was gonna do it for real. This is giving me like back when I used to first start doing idol tutorials. I'm like, this is K-pop idol makeup. I look like Ollie London here. <laughs> Honestly, his his his. You know what's so funny? I got so many comments mm -hmm. on our last videos. I thought it was only every co every. I think because you're here. Whenever people I'm on other people's content lately, the top comments are always I thought that was Ollie London. I think because of your hair. I think it has to be the hair because. I mean, I probably look like him now. But I do not see Ollie London in me, besides the hair. No, so I was thinking on my channel, I'm going to do an Ollie London makeup tutorial. That's actually a good idea. Yeah. So I was looking at pictures of Ollie London. But, but is he, would you say he's good at, he's good at makeup? Mm, he just reminds me of how I used to do my makeup back in the day. Oh, no. When I first started doing He said, oh no. oh no! When I first started doing all that, so... Oh, Jesus, yeah, I Jesus Christ, I left for like a minute when I come back and it looks pale like a <laughs> It's the combination of... It's, just, no, it's the eyeshadow. It's really contrasting with my skin tone, so... It's giving... Corpse Party Realness. Caroline. Anyway, here's my lip product. Oh. I really want to know about LGBTQ plus clubs or places in Korea. I want to have them in my list. Just go to Itaewon, go to MGG. That's where all the bottoms are. Dancing to, uh, how many lovers do, do I go through to find you? King, King is kind of like, 
popular as well, but now the MTG is a thing. King, don't, nobody really goes to King anymore. If you like muscly gays, public, gym, and eagle. Public gym. You know what's so crazy about Edward? Public gym. You know what? You know, so okay. So remember the waiter guy. Not. The- <laughs> It's all the Some, Someone said JYP. <laughs> Sweet dreams are me- <laughs> This literally looks like his makeup. Maybe that. Did you see that booty? It was a disaster. Yeah, he was wearing this Sweet white. Sweet dreams are yeah. made of And he's like, dude, can you do that look? He's giving the crowd. Who am I? I don't know. I don't remember what he did. He's just like this. He's like glaring at the... Yeah. I look fucking insane. But you know what? This is your work, so... I'm proud of it. And then the lips, right? Mm. I want to give you really big lips. Big sucking lips. I learned that from you. You know that, right? Great. Mm-hmm. So I can, I can expect to feel the lip applicator going on the skin yeah. and not my lips. I'm going to make sure that I do it so well. <sighs> eh. You know? I don't know. I'm going to color it in. I, is this right? Mm-hmm. It's like chocolate color. Mm. It's right? Yeah. It's like chocolate. Color. Dude, this would be really uncomfortable though. You have to keep it in your mouth. You can't lick your lips. Huh? I don't think you put lip products in your mouth. But when you have to lick your lips. Oh, good see. So you have to be careful. Right? Yeah. Luckily, this formula dries down matte. Mm-hmm. So it's still, it, it resists that a little bit, but still. Also for me, because I like to bite my lips. So mm-hmm. I'm always eating lipstick. Okay, okay, I did the color now. And now I just have to just make it. Mm, I have a brush. Thicker. You can use this to blend it. You have to blend the lipstick? Yeah, of like course. Like how? Like the. You can just use this. Uh... Use to blend out the edge. Just like the sides? Yeah, I guess so outer you, line? you're blending high so that's where you can make the lips bigger. Oh, okay. If you need to. Mm. Oh. And then... Okay, I need more lipstick though. I'm oh, sorry. I'll give you like Kylie Jenner shit. Oh, now that color is... <laughs> Imagine if Edward puts his face on Sean's black jersey. My face? On your black jersey? You have a black jersey? Mm-mm. Oh my god, not on the outside. Oh, okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got this. <sighs> Can you, he stood up, he stood up, he's serious now. I know. Can you face the camera? Cause... Every time I see that chat go up, I get real worried. <laughs> they know it's good. Actually, the lip color is good, but maybe not matching the eyes. I'm dead. Oh, it's wow. so good. Yeah, I think I, I think I have some that for makeup. You know, I think you're full of shit. Thank you. <laughs> good enough for you. I think you just with some practice, you can do something. You know, there's some people that really just don't have it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have no sense for it. But I guess you do. So I guess you can be JYP's next makeup artist. JYP? Mm. Dude. Travel the world. I think you might like me. Seven. What do you think of the performance? Mm. Did you see the people's faces? They were making... I was more concerned about everyone's faces. They're, They're like, like Moji? That Those people's faces is me at this makeup. Thank you. Mm. I want you to make an edit of this where every time I look at the camera, it's just you interpolating those shots of the JYP performance. Mm. Like those people's reactions onto this clip. Oh, that's actually a pretty good idea. Wow, the lip color looks good, but it's so much color. What is the lipstick brand? It's, uh... Okay! Kaleidos. It's, this is in the shade Pink Himalayan. It, I, this whole line is really Yeah, you're Himalayan. You're goddamn right, Himalayan. You're goddamn right. It's good, right? I look like... You're goddamn right, it's Himalayan. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to try out Kylie's new lip kits. <laughs> Don't I look like... I'm surprised. I need like a, a teal wig. Hey guys, 
today's video, we're gonna be trying these new liquid lipsticks from Anastasia Beverly Hills. <laughs> no! It doesn't help that. Oh my god. In my like longish blonde hair now, I literally look like I work at like a Mac counter. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Mac. What can I help you with? <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Sephora. <laughs> Look at it. I think it looks good, no? Yeah. It looks great. Yeah, can you can you see the camera? That's come on. That's the money shot. That's the money shot right there. It wouldn't be so bad if the eyeshadow wasn't so bad. I think your your sense of color is not bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, mind you, I did pick all the stuff that I brought with me, but I think if you just learn how to properly apply stuff, I think you could, you know. We can do something. Mm, but I, re I was really wanted to give you that 80s glam look. That was that was what I was going for. Is this 80s glam? <laughs> it's 80s glam. I look like Freddie Mercury. <laughs> no, 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 Freddie Mercury. Uh, Freddie uh, Mercury. Uh, something. They have to draw your mustache. What's his name? Something Bowie. David Bowie. David Bowie. I literally like David Bowie. Sweet dreams are made. <laughs> Not the Ollie London. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. I think we should do something more extra. I think you should go fuck yourself. No, 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 no. Really, really. Something more... Something's missing. What could be missing from this? I don't know. Something... Besides maybe eyelashes? I don't know. <gasps> okay, guys, could you rate this That's me. out of 1 to 10? That's me after a rough night after clubbing. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Sean? I mean, that means you had a good time. Right? Oi. Everything I do, I do it A1. Oi. I think you look good. Well, I'm gonna have to go listen to it's his whole ass new album because I'm gonna need all that motivation to not end it all after looking like this. My eyes like watering. Even my own eyes don't want to deal with this. They said five out of three out of <laughs> That's a good minus ten. <gasps> okay. I feel um, like, I feel like I want to take the exact same product and put them on your face and show it, show you how it's done. Should we do that? I'm too lazy. Okay. Too tired as well. Eight proper, see? Um, I'm not sure if I can rate this. <laughs> okay, 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 let's see, mm. look at the lips. Let's go. No, on. we've been looking at the lips, like. Come on, that's just like Kylie Jenner. That's that Kylie Jenner shit. That's that Jessie lips. Yeah, you know like 2016. <laughs> you remind me of an animation character with this two pink circles right here. <laughs> You're an anime where they just have the two dots for blush. It's usually shaded like lines. Either lines or just yeah, the circles, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> I love how we ask for questions that we didn't even bother answering any of them. But they're all very serious questions. That's why, let's, let's answer a few. Thoughts on Skibidi Toilet? What? Pita Toilet? Skibidi Toilet. I think it's like a, a, a meme. What makeup step transforms your face the most? Contouring. Do you bottom or top? <laughs> John, do you think I top or bottom? I'm a power top. I love pussy. I love fucking pussy. Sorry. I have to do this. <laughs> the fact that he's still thinking about it, boy. Y'all in the chat, if Sean was a cocksucker, do you think he'd be a top or a bottom? I would say you're both. Or do I just do do I just have to go with one? No, verse is a thing. I think you're both. It's I'm gonna be both as a desperation. Because I can't find any tops that want me, so I'm gonna have to convert to being a top. So what is your answer? What what are you at? I'm bottom. What does that mean anyway? What like bottom just means you're in the receiving end, right? Yeah, I take the cock, I put the penis inside. But the you don't penis. want to actually do it yourself. No, Kishana. Really? Girl, it's a it's a lot of work, y'all. Oh. I don't know how y'all top do that shit. I just like I'm just like, I'm done. I'm ready. But what if the guy you're dating? is- I joined this conversation at the wrong time. <laughs> But what if the guy you're dating actually is a receiver like you? Well, I would know that from the beginning. I would. I don't know if I would date them. I'm not again opposed to dating Bonnie, oh, but I'm obviously I'm more attracted. To but sometimes, office. aren't you like shit? I wanna. Sometimes, uh. yeah. Then yeah, I'll do it if they're down. But 
um, for the most part. Because Vaughn told me that there are guys that don't do it at all. Yeah. There's some guys they that just, just don't like, like just, anal, yeah. Yeah, they just They like skin chip, you know, or just oral or something. That's what I heard. Y'all think he would be a top? Y'all think he'd be a top? But the gag is, y'all, the gag is, if if there's a guy that looks like Sean and acts like Sean in the gay community in Korea, he'd probably be a bottom. Really? Yeah. There's a lot. If There's a list that uh, Grindr, I think, released where it's like the countries with the most bottoms, Korea's number one. Oh, really? Yeah. But the thing is, people you would there's think are statistics. tops in Korea, a lot of them are bottoms. It's so annoying. There's statistics to that? I guess so. They're wow. based off their... Because they, they're the app, right? So they can... So they get that data. where you can choose I'm rather on the bottom or top? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Of course, because so it's easier for people to, you know... Wow. Identify, but... I feel like I'm in an interesting health class. <sighs> but yeah. This show is amazing. I'm fucking dead. It is amazing. Don't you agree? It's giving Double D. You're great. Double D is my podcast with my friend. Huh? Yeah. Ah. The one with Eddie. Right? Yeah. I wonder what it would be like to have him as a guest. It would be amazing. Would just be one really hetero guy sandwiched between two just cum guzzling bottoms. I think that would be great. I think that's a good balance. While, while we both look like this. Exactly. I look like cock destroyers. Oh, we're gonna destroy cocks. You look good. Sean, will you shut the fuck up? No, I'm, I'm serious. Like, it doesn't look that bad. <sighs> you look like a glam star. I think Sean will be a bottom. I think so too. <sighs> but, I th- okay, let's talk about it. I feel like Sean, if he was gay, in Korea, right, and you're in the community or whatever, you would be the type of gay that smoke in, you only eat at expensive restaurants, you live in, you live in, uh, Hanamdong. Wow, very expensive. Uh, you live in Itaewon area. Mm. Um, you're in photography, or like you're a creative okay. director. Okay. Massive bottom, but you're very kadaro about who you fuck. You're very particular about who you fuck. Wow, that's so specific. You would only fuck very hot, only exclusively very hot tops. And you would go to Bangkok occasionally. I feel like you're that type of Wow, that was so fucking specific. And he has clearly thought about this. (laughs) The thing is, Koreans are so... They're so obsessed, even with the whole MBTI thing. Uh They're so obsessed with, like, creating who they are. It's easy for you to kind of just identify what type of person... A person could be based on like I you know, too. not just the MBTI, but just like the vibe that they get in general. That's why th- that's why what I said is just so specific. I have to tell this story oh, when I was in the restaurant with Edward. There's <laughs> there's the waiter. We were speaking English, so he uh, automatically just assumed that we only spoke English, mm-hmm. right? So he came to us and trying to speak in broken English. It was a broken. It was Konglish. Konglish. Throwing English, he yeah, throwing random English words and in there. And then Edward speaks fluent Korean. I speak Korean, obviously. So we just said, "Oh, come on, We just started speaking Korean. Mm. Oh, oh, sorry. And then he and then Edward's like, "He's fucking gay." Yeah. And I was bottom. like, "How do you know?" Bottom. How do you know? And no, it's just, just, just the vibes. It was a, it was the English speaking is one thing, but I think um, one interesting thing you said was, Sean, straight guys don't speak English. Yeah. What, Unless, is, what do you mean? By um, that? If it were two hot foreign white girls with big tits. Yeah, maybe he would try. Mm. But generally, I noticed Korean gays are more interested in foreign, like, learning foreign languages. So he'd try more because he's like, oh, so it's a spicy hail. I was like, okay. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's truly, the, it's the vibes. Because I know he just has, and also, he was wearing a mask. But just based off of this, I was like, power bottom. Mm. Power bottom. Obviously, I could be wrong. But it's just giving that diet. Wow. Because he had the glasses and like what, the, 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 the really short hair. He looked like he just got out of the Gunde. Mm. So, just got out of the pre- army. Do you prefer guys with long hair or short hair? Or don't mm, care? I don't think it matters. Mm. Yeah. We love the gaydar. <laughs> Do you have a gaydar? I think I think you don't care enough. No, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care if they're gay or not. Like, it doesn't really bother me. No, it's not about whether they caring about if they're gay. Uh, it's like, can you tell if someone is gay or not? I think the way they talk, if they seem very feminine, then I can make that. Only assumption. Only if it's like an extreme case. Yeah, then I can make the assumption that, that they that's might a be thing. Gay. Yeah, that's the thing though with Koreans. A lot of Korean guys, a lot of especially Americans, mm. will see some 
Korean guys that think, oh, he's gay, but he's not. It's just the way he dresses and like, because uh-huh. especially these days, a lot of Korean guys are interested in taking care of their appearance, mm-hmm. but a lot of Americans are like gay, but that's not always the case. Yeah, because you you know the makeup industry for mm-hmm. men is huge now. Mm-hmm. I think the most ironic thing mm-hmm. these days is that the biggest gays are the ones that do the least amount of work. Oh really? And they 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 try so hard to look straight oh. that it become like. I'm literally learning here. I'm dead. Yeah, like the top gays in Korea, short hair, no makeup. Maybe they'll do eyebrow tattoos, but they'll, they'll always clean up the brows. They're working out mm-hmm. all the time. I think it's, I was telling Sean earlier, that was so funny because whenever I post a hot, buff, muscly guy on my Instagram story, all the bottoms. La, 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 la. Mm-hmm. But when I post a guy that looks like Sean or like a, like a tall, slim cut, obviously works out, but more on the slim side, very clean cut. All the girls. That's interesting. So, the girls, the girls. But the majority of your followers are girls, women, and gay mm. men, right? Mm. Yeah. So, and they're usually buff as hell. Mm-hmm. So like one home. Mm. We know one home. That's like every gay's type, basically. Mm. But girls do not like that. Oh, the idol that's Jack. That's oh, Jack. He, he is. He has an amazing physique. The bottoms. He's so Jack. It's so crazy to me, like, all the all my gay friends know who Wanho is, mm. don't listen to any of his music, which is so sad to me, because mm. he's a great songwriter. But his face is so different with his body. Oh. I think that's so interesting. He's a bagel boy, bagel namja. Yeah, he looks like baby a... Babyface? Babyface, but jacked body. Yeah, his physique is yeah. incredible. Mm-hmm. Your eyes. I love how we're having this serious conversation, I still look like this. <laughs> <laughs> I do have, um, like, a makeup remover, though. It's okay. I'll just... I really do though. Uh, 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 uh. You can just remove the eyes. Uh, 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 uh. What was that? Bitch, I uh, paint the town red. Oh, yeah? That's Doja Cat. Yeah. That's, that's gonna be me on the bus. Oh, come on. Fuck the haters. The haters make me famous. <laughs> I fucking hate when people say, when creators say that shit. <laughs> creators that say haters make me famous and act like they don't give a shit about my haters, <laughs> did you, did you say that those again? are the ones that are super insecure. Did you say that again? The same thing. <laughs> Haters make me famous. <laughs> Creators that say that will go home crying at night. Like, oh man. <laughs> but um, what's you what we're talking about? Yeah, girls aren't really like Korean girls at least. They're really not into Wanho, like super. Yeah, cause that's not the really Korean type. Mm. Korean likes the slim, muscular kind of. Okay, if Sean was a BL actor, I would watch all the series. You know what BL drama is? Yes. Boy, boy yes. love drama. Yes. If you were in, I feel like you'd be so easily typecasted. You would be like the sundere, the sundere top of the school okay. in the drama. Okay. The one that like, I would be the, the little, the cute little bottom. I'd be all like, eh, and you'd be like, uh. what is that? I don't know. <laughs> but the, the the top is always acting like he's too good for everything. Like no 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 no. no sorry, rephrase. The top is always acting like. He's a, he doesn't care about anything. He doesn't give a shit. But then, I don't know. It's very much the type of, like, if the, the little bottom and the, the, the hot top are walking together and the, the bottom was, like, in his head daydreaming and he tried to walk across the street and a car was coming. And... I'm that guy. That bottom. That's, that, that'd be you. What would you be? The one running into the street. <laughs> no. But for me, I would get hit by the car. You wouldn't even try to stop me. Really? You'd see me walking into the street and be like, Okay. <laughs> I don't think anybody can miss your blonde hair, Edward. Not in, Kadri- in Korean dramas. They'd be missing people from miles away. Oh, yeah. I love how they film these dramas in Incheon, where oh, there's like no cars on the road at night. Mm. But then in the dramas, it's literally the one car and the one crossroad, yeah. and they don't see them from like a mile away. It just suddenly comes. Right? Mm-hmm. Because but you can hear a car. But drama logic it. for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He'd be the one that all the girls swan over and never... Gives off the gay vibe. Sean is giving more second than the best friend. Falls in love with me. You don't want to say that's fine. Ah, Bonji Nara. If there, I feel like if there was like a love triangle sort of BL mm. drama, or even if it's not BL, the regular one, mm. you'd be like the bad boy one. But in the end, you you don't end up with the the Jun Gong, the main girl. That's what everyone has been telling. Yeah. Me. That all that all they say is you're the you're the asshole that tries to steal the girl. How do you feel about that? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. What? 
Well, I can imagine a tear falling down from your face as you say that. I'll, I'm okay with that. No, I'm so used to it. At, at first, it was like... I'm okay with that. I was like, I, at first, I was like, why can't I be the not good person? And I realized, okay, I'm See, so that, that, like, difference in opinion with people, mm-hmm. the way you think and the way that people respond, how does that difference feel? Do you feel like you need to change anything or you just, you're like, whatever? Um, is, is that information surprising to you? Not anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people tell me, you know what this guy told me one time? Mm-hmm. He said, wow, your cock is smaller than I thought. Sure. <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. He yeah. said, wow, you came really quick. Yeah, oh, sorry. Five seconds. Sorry, it's been a long, it's been a long time. Sorry. <gasps> Woo! I'm sorry, yeah. I need to calm down. No, it's been like four months, you know, please understand. No, but like, um, I think it's when people always say like, um, you look so, you look mean. Mm-hmm. I'm so used to that now. Yeah, I, whenever I post stuff with him, people are like, is he nice in real life? I'm like, yeah, he's really, really nice. Why? They're like, he looks like an asshole. I'm like, yeah, I, but that's <laughs> the thing. And then that, that's what I always hear. So now at this point, I'm just used to it. Do you think it's your face and the way you talk? Because you do have kind of like a nappin namja face. But some people tell me it's just a vibe. The vibe? Like Korean people say, you have, like, posu. Like, you just have this vibe. I will say, though, the content that you pull out of your live stream that you put on your social media, mm-hmm. I feel like people can't get the idea. Especially because the way you answer the phone, mm-hmm. that you're like, hello, whatever. And. Mm-hmm. Some of these people on, that you be answering, it could just be the ones you're posting, but they're always like, I, uh, I, are you that guy on YouTube? Uh, I feel like I would be annoyed by that too. Mm. So eventually, the more you keep doing it, the more you just like, but I, yeah. But, but for you, it's like the opposite. Well, because you have this personality on the internet where it's like, ah, ah you know? Haters make me famous. Exactly, that attitude, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> but then they meet you in person, but they realize that you're much more relaxed and calmer than... If you get to know me. But most people tell me I'm exactly the same as I am in my videos. Oh, really? Yeah, I try to keep that energy. Uh-huh. But if you, you do... need somebody, like, oh, can you take a photo? Yeah, but if we're, like, literally just hanging out, I tend to be way more chill. Because, like... Remember last time? A girl passed you by. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was so funny. This, oh. girl, this girl was like, can I take a photo? He's like, no, bitch, you can't. <laughs> That's how I do everyone. Yeah, he's like, no, I didn't do Because I think it, I don't know, for me to just be like, yeah, of course, I think it's kind of like awkward for me. So mm-hmm. I try to, in a way, lighten up the mo- mm-hmm. lighten up the mood by being like, no, fuck you, don't fucking, just so, like, because they know I, that's my humor uh, anyway. I like to joke around, so. You don't see me, you just come across as someone that doesn't deal with idiots. Oh, honey. I think that's mood. for you too, though. Both of us. Mm-hmm. Girl, the second a boy just opens his mouth and be uh, talking like, like he's airheaded, oof, I am like, I know me and my friend Eddie on our podcast, we're always talking like, oh, sucking dick and cock, sucking dick and cock. But as soon as we meet a dude that's kind of dumb, we're just like, so. But I think that's with a lot of people. Mm, when did you start the podcast? September of last year. Oh, like, really? September, well, October, time. August, you know. Eddie, did you ever get hit on by a girl? Yes. Oh, yeah, tell us about that. I was at this club, which is so funny. I was at a gay club, bro. Mm. Uh, a lounge? Lounge, um, boys and girls go. It's a it's a gay lounge, but many girls go there. Mm-hmm. There's a smoking area outside. It's called uh, what's elephant in Korean? Kokiri. 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 It's literally elephant. The el- the logo looks like a testicles. But anyway, um, it's called elephant. Elephant. Yeah. Mm. Itaewon. Seven Eleven in the gay area, right next the the building next door on the fourth floor. I went outside because my friend wants to go smoke. So I was like, okay, I'll join you. This girl, she was giving the vibes of like. She works in some kind of like. She also seems like a creative director to me. Mm-hmm. Um, she's a, she, she, black, black, black turtleneck, legs crossed, short hair, mm-hmm. like the short, sleek, like, uh, like she looks like she doesn't post a lot on Instagram. She looks like she only follows a certain number of people on Instagram, mm-hmm. right? And they're all the they all work in the creative in, director industry or whatever. Um, but she like saw me and oh God, the look on her face. I, I could obviously she had like a thing for me, but I was trying to be very I was trying to be very like just like don't I, just don't look at her if I don't look at her if I don't look at her. But I looked over I like turned my head straight forward and she was like like in my face. First of all, why would you smoke in someone's face, right? Two, but I don't, I don't remember what she said, but it was definitely she was trying to I was talking to my friend and then she tried to join in the conversation, but. The way she answered was also half trying to hit on me. Okay. And I just was not there for that. I was like, sweetie, we both suck cocks, so I don't know why you're t- 
talking to me like that? Is that what you said? Pretty much. No, I, in my head I said that. But I just, you, I kinda, how did you turn her down? I responded like awkward, like the awkward, like, ah, ha, 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 like laugh. And I just like got up and I fucking left. But um, yeah, she was trying, the vibes are very much like she was trying to, I'm like, girl, what do you get out of me? What do you get out of me? Unless you have a penis. What do you get out of me? Do you, oh, I told the story to uh, yesterday about Thailand. I think it was yesterday or two days Thailand? ago. Thailand? Yeah, so it's um, my friend. I'm it, scared. <laughs> no, no, no. My friend um, told me the story of how his friend, they went to a club in Thailand. He was able to pick up a girl. Mm-hmm. But then my friend was like, he can he clearly tell that it was a dude. Mm-hmm. It was a lady boy. Lady boy. And he was like, hey, man, maybe you're drunk, but she, just letting you know she's a lady boy. Mm-hmm. We all know it. Right, mm-hmm. she had Adam's apple, big as my fist. Mm-hmm. She's a fucking lady boy, right? Me and just having, me right now. <laughs> and she has a very thick voice. <clears throat> and he was like, "No, no, she's not a lady boy." Really? Like, nah, was he really lady. drunk? Not really. So mm-hmm. he was like, "No, no, she's not a lady boy." And then she, they went up to the hotel. The next day, he was like, "So what happened?" And he was like, oh, "I, have to, I just did it. She was a lady boy, but I just did it." And he was like. What? What do you mean you just did it? And he was like, well, I paid for her, so I just did it. I just did it anyway. And he was like, if you're gay, you can just say it. We're not going to judge you. It's okay, man. Like, you don't have to try to hide that shit. And he was like, no, 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 dude, I'm not gay. I just did it because I was curious. And then months later, so he... Were they a lady boy? Huh? Were they a lady boy? Yeah. But he, you said he said that he, they weren't a lady boy. No, he was a lady boy. Oh. Wow. He said, oh, she was a lady boy. But then, like, you know, mm. I was curious. There really be dudes like that. And then a couple months later, he came out as being gay. Oh, really? Mm. Wow. I will say, there are some people I see, I, I follow up on Twitter. I go on Twitter for porn. So, There's porn on Twitter? Sweetie. Yes. How, how does that not get taken down? I don't know. They, they're, they're, all, they're all constantly uploading it and deleting it, uploading and deleting. Oh, so maybe they avoid that way. Okay. But sweetie. So there's a whole category in Korea, cross dressers, mm-hmm. boys that dress in stockings, wear wigs, makeup. They get so much dick, mm-hmm. sweetie. A lot of them be up on OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. So much dick, and they get the hottest, the hottest. I I I subscribe to a few. The caption they always talk about. A lot of the caption is usually just who they're fucking. Not by name, but like they describe what they do. Like it could be like bank bank worker or like gym trainer. They fuck a lot of gym trainers, honey. Really? Yes. So you would say that the gay community in Korea is getting much more bigger and bigger. I don't know though, because or are they just good that good enough to find those people? I'm not sure the psychology behind that because dude with dude, mm. but the bottom. Dressed up as a girl, mm-hmm. very a lot of them are very fem- are very are very fish. A lot of them are fish, right? Mm-hmm. F- fish in the drag world means that they really look like a woman. Mm-hmm. Um, I I, remember I saw one of these people put, make a tweet. They were like, "I feel like if I never started cross dressing, I would have never experienced sex." Mm-hmm. Because as a boy, I guess they were. Because honestly, for a lot of these people, my type in Korea is not popular at all. Nobody wants to fuck. What me. is your type? Like me, like, your type? Yeah, no way. I'm not popular at all. I, if I ever get any messages from Ajushis, no way. No, I'm, I'm, I wish I was joking. I'm really not. Really? Skinny, mm-hmm. long hair, and by long I mean longer than this. Of course. Colors the hair, wears any kind of makeup. Mm. Not popular in Korea. So you have to literally look like a straight dude. You have to look like a straight dude. Oh, that's what's yeah. popular. It's yeah. Korean men. Yeah, it's not every single. It's like ninety eight percent. You know, so. Uh, uh. Wow, that's so interesting. Yeah, but, but you wouldn't say that it's getting bigger. I would say it's bigger. I think it's just people are more open to coming out now. I don't think they really come out though, oh, really? because those people they on the on the OnlyFans they mosaic their face, they blur the face. Oh. So I don't think that's really coming out. Ever, I can see why Sean thinks you're awesome. Please come, bro. Let's. Li- I literally tell him all the time, like I will come out here all the time, but he's just like. No, man. I just feel so bad. And that's usually people that don't want to see my face again. That's what they said. No, man. I just feel really bad. I just think you're so busy. No. <laughs> He's like, damn it. No, 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 no. He no, knows. 
<laughs> no, I can't come out. Oh, and then it would turn into my show, so. We don't want that. Yeah, it can't be the most ethereal show with Edward Abia. Right? <laughs> but they're really, I, I'm trying to. <laughs> Stay in the middle. Like you. This tonal difference. Orange neck, white face. But most girls are like that, though. Yeah, true. So does that mean that if it has that much of a difference, you have to do your neck? But what if you get it? It's, it's on your shirt. That's the thing. I don't. I don't like putting a foundation on my neck. So you have but to balance it out. I there, well, one you shouldn't be using a foundation that's too light. I think this is my winter color. I'm getting a little bit of a tan, probably. But um, there's a certain way you have to apply foundation to make it look natural, right? Mm -hmm. um, if you put it all the way down to your jaw, mm -hmm. sometimes they're, even if it's your exact skin tone, like yeah. the, it's the perfect color, mm -hmm. because of it, it can look like a mask. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it will look like it's almost like it's too light. Okay. I love how when I, as soon as I start talking talk about makeup seriously, he signs the fuck out. No, like, I'm just adjusting my seat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what the, what the fuck did you adjust? You literally did this. <laughs> it's okay, but yeah. Sean, could Eddie come on your show maybe once a month? I mean, I'm down. We live so close by, I can literally just hop on over here. But this dude is like, I have to buy this bitch dinner again. <laughs> I, lo I love the truth. Edward was like, should we Dutch pay? Yeah, because it was pretty expensive over there. So Edward, you're coming as my guest. That's the least I could do. How can I? Can you imagine? How can I possibly have you as a guest and be like, "Hey, um, it's Shimano. Could you? Could we Dutch pay?" In that situation, I feel like I would understand. No. No. Oh come on. Is it embarrassing if if their neck and face are completely different, or is it normal? Here's the thing, y'all. I've had this conversation on my social media many times. Even if. I feel like in Korea, people are so used to seeing girls with two different colors. Mm -hmm. Not even just girl, boys too. Two different colors. They're so used to it. It's like normal to them now. Mm -hmm. And I asked my, my one friend that works in the makeup industry, and I asked him, how come these days, especially now that we're more open, like with street woman fighter, you mm -hmm. know, or like people like Jesse, you know, with more tan skin, mm -hmm. people are more open to like wearing foundation that's their exact color. They're like, I'm like, I asked him, why don't companies make those colors? And he said like, they do make those colors. They tried but, but still. even if a girl goes there, a girl or boy, they go there and they see a foundation that's exactly their skin tone, they're going to pick one lighter. Um, so it's a problem with the people. It's a problem with the society, not necessarily the brands, right? So I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like they they don't feel bad about looking crazy like that. But, but I think it's Korea, dude. Everybody wants to look paler. paler. Yeah. yeah. There's the people that... I think guys can more accepted when being more tan mm -hmm, yeah. but women want to be also I think it's really funny in the gay community in Korea mm -hmm. they love guys with tan skin oh really when they see a guy that's really really pale they're... I mean it's not necessarily a good or bad thing but definitely tan skin people like they eat that shit up mm -hmm. when they see a boy with tan skin they're like oof I maybe think... it's more, more masculine in a sense mm -hmm, yeah that's they do say you know in Korea when they call tan or skin konggang he boinda yeah, you look healthy, you look healthy. Yeah. Which I guess is a better way of thinking about it, rather than being like, ill, you have tan skin, you're, you know, ugly, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I just think it's funny how they have to think of it that way. Yeah, I, I, was, I think I was always tan from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Like, my mom, my mom said when I came out, she was like, kind of like worried because I was so tan. Not the worry. Yeah, she was like, why is he so tan? Like when I first, mm -hmm. she first saw him. But the thing is, I told you this last time, but even for a boy, you're not that. Yeah, yeah. You're like the average Korean guy skin tone. I don't know, but every time I hear, every time I talk to people, they're like, oh, you're tan. Korean people. Also, it doesn't help, though, that you do wear a lot of cool colors. These kind of colors make you look more tan. Um, yeah. So. But you said I'm warm tone, right? Sean, Eddie, have to go. Always nice to see you guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Uh, me, me, no, me, no. Um, you're... You, I think you're warm. Yeah, so I've been wearing like brown, mm, dark brown. colors. Yeah. You can't, you can wear colors like this though. They're not horrible on you, mm. but they will give you more because you do have like the really dark hair, right? Mm. As long as it's the deeper color, you can wear it. Mm. I don't think it's more, it's necessarily warm or cool for you. But if you dye your hair like this, isn't it bad for your hair? Of course. So you have to treat it. It's not good for your hair. You have to treat it, right? I suppose so. I love watching Korean makeup shop ASMR. And that Emily always always. Can you be her. hanging out? I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Yeah. I love watching Korean makeup shop ASMR, and Emily always always tell her how fair she is while her face is like white mask, and she just very almost like. <gasps> I, <don't... laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, the, in the shops, they always be giving them the, the much pay, especially for if they're going to be on stage for idols or they're going to be doing like wedding or some kind of shoot because they know they're going to be using the lights. So everything goes like lighter anyway, but they still, I don't, girl, I don't know. Ask them. Ask them. I don't know. What BL dramas have you watched? I don't watch BL dramas. I think the last one I watched... <sighs> You got, you'll have to tell me that I don't remember the title, but the BL drama was about, there's like, there's two boys and they like each other. I don't fucking remember. I have all of skin. So summer, it's hard to find a foundation the right color depending on my tan. Girl, I feel you. If you buy one of those blue pigment things, like the blue pigment foundation mixers, usually that will fix a lot of foundations because a lot of... When you're that that like awkward tan skin tone, uh, a lot of the foundations will be really yellow. So just add the blue, the yellow mixed with the blue and it turns green. You get the all skin tone. That usually helps a lot. But I heard there are some really good shops in Korea where they find out your perfect skin tone. Yes, Cheongsamul is one of them. Did did you go there? Once. Once. Mm. Yeah. Where? Cheongsamul. Yeah. Where like where? Which town? Which name? Ah, uh, Cheongdam. Oh. And Miss Cheongsamul herself, she always talking about. Ladies, wear your proper foundation because you look more. Because you know in Korea, they're always concerned about the face size of the face. Yeah. Because like, oh, your face looks small. Because a lot of people get confused. They're like, oh, you have a small face. They're like, excuse me. Ah, yeah. They don't get it. Yeah. But it's actually a good thing. That means your face is small, so it's proportionate. Mm. That means you have a good proportion. Proportion. Yeah. Yeah, but she's always talking about if your face is lighter than your neck, than the rest of your body, your face looks bigger because it's so like, you know, standing is out. Is Jungjoon number one? Korean? I don't think number one anymore. Who's the number one? Who's two? Shop or makeup artist? Makeup artist. I think her in terms of makeup artist, but so there's cool. so many makeup artists now that mm. you know. How about brand shop? Couldn't <laughs> the shop? Mm. Uh, I'm not sure. There's just so many. Really? There's popular ones like uh, a, a, I don't remember the names, but a lot of them have YouTube channels. Um, a lot of the makeup artists will have YouTube channels. Pony, pony, she's are just a makeup artist by herself. Oh, she's, she's not a brand? Mm -hmm. um, have you tried Kylie Jenner's makeup? Mm -hmm. How is it? It's pretty good, I guess. Oh, really? Their eyeshadow is like, eh. But their uh, lip stuff is really nice. Can you explain what small face actually means? It just means you're... Because they like the small, tiny faces. So yeah. That's literally what it means. It just means you have a small face. So from mm -hmm. far away, if you look at somebody with a small face, mm -hmm. it's called partington. So like a, a, a face should fit in your height eight times. One, two, three, four, five, and that's called, it's called Pai Why do you think Koreans like that pale looking face so much? I think people that have that pale look look like death. Yeah, often in the we West. We want the opposite of what the West wants. Yeah, in the West they think that people with really pale skin Exactly, dead, yeah. so we're naturally born with tan skin, mm -hmm. Asians, in a sense. So I want to say tan skin, just more yellow more skin. More yellow skin. Yeah. So we want something paler. Mm -hmm. We want bigger eyes. Mm -hmm. But the Westerners, they want these more fox eyes. These days. These days, I guess, right? yeah. They don't, because we're not born with natural double eyelids. Not all of us, at least. That's why we want it. We usually want the opposite of what we don't have. I realize. It's and like, even Western, they, the girls that they like. Girls? It's the Oriental, really Asian-looking girls that guys like. Not the K-pop um, girls. Mm. You know? That's another, I think that's interesting. That's another funny thing. In the gay community, a lot of Korean gays do not like double eyelids. Um, a guy having no, a guy there a guy having a potential partner having dull they love they love monolids uh, yeah so everything you can think of that they hate in K-pop mm -hmm. every beauty standard they hate in K-pop mm -hmm. the gays eat that shit up but bigger you, do you guys would tan you guys, skin uh, monolid would you guys prefer guy with double eyelid or a monolid as women they're like I would like a boy in general <laughs> <laughs> mood no but really like, but how about you would you mind, like, would you prefer a double eyelid guy or monolids? It doesn't matter to me. I can, I can see the charm in having monolids because uh -huh. there's some sexy men with monolids, but I don't think it matters too much for me. Whether or not it's just... Yeah, I don't think it's... it's you don't really me. have a specific... You're just like, ah, as long as we click and blah, blah, blah. As long as he has two legs and a dick, mm -hmm. I'm on it. I know. that. I, I realize that. No, no, I'm not really picky. Yeah, For me, it's more, it's about the personality mm -hmm. because haters make me famous. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. I don't give a damn. <laughs> yeah. So. Double. Double eyelids. They're more feminine, right? If a guy is... A lot of Korean guys will... I'm still talking about like the gay community, but yeah, they see it as like... 
feminine because usually the av- the normal the most Koreans are born with monoliths, right? Mm-hmm. So if they see a person with double eyelids, they think they got plastic surgery, and they're not into that. Mm-hmm. It's no. so funny how gay people, gay Koreans, want people that act straight. Mm-hmm. I think that's funny. Act and look super straight. Oh, I think that's funny. But sweetie, when they all hang out, all the, when all the bottom friends hang out with each other, on me, on me. But as soon as a potential a hot guy walks in the room, yo zeo, yo zeo. It's crazy out here. It's crazy. Mm. That's why I get so tired of hanging out with gay Korean gays sometimes. That's why I hang out at the the straight club. The gays are too much for me sometimes. Mm -hmm. I can't handle it. I'm gonna go outside. See you guys. Bye. Could you guys, could you still have that gaydar working at a regular club? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's so cool. Because I would never know because it's it's dark. You can't really see Mm. shit. Yeah, no, there's, a, there's a lot of bi guys in Korea. Can, can I go into a lesbian club, though? I heard guys are absolutely not allowed in lesbian clubs in Korea. Oh, I can't go to a lesbian club? Yeah. Oh. But I can go to a gay club even though I'm straight, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. They would invite your ass to the straight, the, the gay club. Because <clears throat> Bob was like, let's go to a gay club. And I'm like, can I go? Mm. And he was like, doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. Because you're dude. Mm. No. They don't know your sexuality. He was like, I'll just, I'll be, he was like, don't, don't worry, like, I'll take care of you. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean by that? Mm-hmm. He was like, ah, he was like, I'll, don't worry, I'll, I'll take care of you. Yeah, because the, he's probably talking about the club MGG or something, mm-hmm. and MGG is so popular, like, because it's, one, it's free, mm-hmm. and boys and girls can go in, mm-hmm. but the line is just so long, but mm-hmm. the bouncer knows Vaughn, so, we just. Edward looks amazing. What was that aggressive, like? That's my makeup, man. Glam! Oh, my God, but why should we... I thought... Because <laughs> you're shitting on me for it. Look, Edward looks amazing. See that? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Do you think they act more mask like more mask-looking guys because of how conservative the country is? I honestly think the way Korea is so conservative, it really plays a big role into the way gays be active. Mm. Yeah. That's but I hate when people give shit about that, how okay. we're so conservative. I'm like, what are you going to do about it? Like that's just how our country is. Like your country has their own problems, so I don't, I don't, I don't try to give shit to other countries because I know my country is imperfect. For me, it's just I feel like if I say anything on the internet, it's like it's not. It's gonna make a difference in the way Korea is. Exactly. So. It's just gonna. It's all you can't do anything. I think to change. You can't change anything, but you can't. It's just gonna take a while. If it yeah. does, I don't know if they. Are. I don't think we'll ever be like America no. because we have our own certain, you know, culture mm-hmm. and our own. Especially, up, you know, upbringing of how this country came to be. So, especially when a lot of the old the population is older people. No, yeah, yeah. No, and they're not having babies. Maybe pushing that conservative mindset on the youngins. So, <clears throat> conservative or just homophobic? Oof, that's a mood. <laughs> I don't think. I think most people, maybe older people, could be homophobic. Mm-hmm. But I think the people of my generation, I don't think they're homophobic at all. You think so? Maybe it's just ah. the people that I surround myself Maybe. with, but even if it's somebody that's gay, I, you don't really care. Because most people are like, oh, it's your life, it's my life. Mm-hmm. You do what you have to do, I do what I have to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like I've met a mix of both. Oh, yeah. People like that, they don't care about anything because mm-hmm. they're comfortable with themselves. Mm-hmm. And there are people that are like, if you mention guys in, at all, they're just suddenly like, they react by it. I completely get you. Yeah, mm-hmm. I agree. But I think... Because they're foreign to that idea. Mm-hmm, yeah, but I think it totally depends on who you meet. Why did you let him through like that? How about that comment? How about that comment? She, she doesn't have taste. <laughs> she no! Taste. I think it's great if you let people who... They, that, yeah, that's why I don't fucking talk to... I just don't talk to anybody. Girl. You know I think is so fucking crazy? Mm-hmm. Sometimes is... When they meet me... When I ran... I don't know. Like, I'll, for, I'll, I'll can run I, in... Can I have that water? Yeah. I'll oh, run, can you give me that? that for, yeah. Uh-huh. I'll meet people. Maybe I'll like the straight club or something, right? Like, people that know who you are? No, just, like, people that don't know me. Okay. Like, for, I don't know, I feel it'd be, like, getting crazy, and so they try to talk to me or whatever. Mm. And then they find out, like, for some reason, they end up finding out that I'm into dudes, and they're like... But then... Like, what do you mean by that? Like, they're just, like, that weirded is, out like, by that. So, that, okay, like, you, say, like, oh, you say, like... You say, I like guys, right? Yeah. And I'm like, like, they'll be like, oh, do you have a girlfriend or something? Oh, yeah, okay, I'll, like, do, I'll do that. So, you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. What do you mean? You don't, you don't have a girlfriend? No, I suck cock. Sucking dick and cock. And then they'll be like... And you did it at my birthday party. <laughs> and they'll be like... Oh, shit, like that? Like, even, even if it's not like this, you, have to, you see it in their face, they're kind of taken aback. Oh, like, oh, 
Oh, yeah. could you? Uh -huh. yeah. But then, like, I don't know, the conversation's happening. They find out I'm a YouTuber. They suddenly switch up. Like, Yes! Mm. They see my Instagram, they're like, oh, follow Tiki Bada Shamil. <laughs> yes, and they follow, they suddenly like, are okay with me. Mm. And then I find something very similar with Hong Sok Chan, the gay celebrity. I grip. fucking love Hong Sok Chan. People are so, we're so against him. Nah, you know what? I always like Hong Sok Chan. I thought he was the funniest motherfucker. Yeah. But then, now that he's like this really big celebrity status, oh, yeah. People are okay with him. But just same thing Punja, the transgender. She's so funny. So funny. She's fucking funny. They're only okay with her now because she's such a celebrity now. Mm. So, I don't know. People are so fucking I'm tired of it. <laughs> yeah. But I love Hong Suk Chan. Hong Suk Chan, for those that don't know, was the first gay celebrity that mm -hmm. really made it. Because mm -hmm. of his personality, of his funny, his mm -hmm. charm, mm -hmm. he was able to capture people's hearts even yeah. though he was gay. So he would come out on television programs and he's very famous and he oh his English name is Tony Tony Hong oh his name is Tony I don't know his name that sounds so <laughs> gay Korean of him though Tony Hong I love that yeah but uh, did you have like I think he had a lot of restaurants in New yeah he was famous for having called a Thai food restaurant mm -hmm. they always call it the, I always called it the Hong Sok Chun Street but then it closed though right a lot of them closed yeah. you know? after the I don't know COVID how long did you live in Seoul? Uh, oh, 10 years now? Yeah, during around COVID is when they all flopped. So a lot of them closed down. And I know they were famous for having all, all the workers at these restaurants are always hot boys. Yeah, I heard. They're all yeah. very good looking. I've never been there though. Is it good? I've never been. Oh, really? Yeah. I heard the food is not that good though. <laughs> but the boys are hot, so... Yeah, yeah. Just... No, I'd be really pissed if the food was the really not good. I don't care if your workers are fucking hot. I do get impressed with your Korean though. Oh, yeah. Like it's good. I'm like, oh yeah. Because I don't have to worry about ordering for you. I know in the restaurant. Ah, you just do it yourself. I literally just said, you go have to say, oh. No, I but still, like, like, I mean, you know. <laughs> are you fluent in Korean? Are you fluent in Korean? <laughs> Not really. A little bit, yeah. I can speak a little bit. I know how to say, oh. Oh, not that. Your, your, your little thing on your phone calls. I love the accent you do. The Korean accent? Yeah. I know it's so super stupid. Forced. Yeah. I know it's Not forced. just, it's so forced that it almost sounds like it's not even real. I do uh, exaggerate it a bit. I should kind of keep it. Mm. I don't do it anymore though. It just kind of, it gets old. I can't get over the, are you open-minded? Open-minded? Open-minded. Yeah. Are you open-minded? Because apparently that's what they say. Apparently guys go to girls and say, Oh, you have a, you like a BTS? Yeah? I don't know, listen to me, listen to me. I listen to you. Listen to me. You have to listen to me. Not the it's fucking not the whole, BTS. It's not the whole line, dude. Listen. You like a BTS? Sir? Oh, oh my god, oh. meanwhile he's looking like a trash. Oh, I look uh, people say I look a BTS member. Which one? Jimmy. Not the Jimmy! Yeah. But you, these dudes always have a certain look. Yeah. And they were like They're like they look fucked. They go, you have a cacao? You go you go to Opa place? Sir? That's what they say. That's what I heard. Where do I think I learned but this? But the stuff? thing is, a lot of a lot of these foreign girls would eat that shit up. Cause they're like, oh my god, I found my my opa. And even if he's like, even if he's at a standard where the girl would have never originally dated it because it's Korean, mm. she'd be like, got my visa. You know my friend. He lives in he lives in uh, in America. He said that, dude, you have no idea how much I got late because I was fucking Korean. Girl, it's, it's he real. He was like, dude, you, he was like, yo, I got mm -hmm. late like a motherfucker mm -hmm. because after BTS K-dramas and shit. Mm -hmm. He was like, dude, I, yeah. I, 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 like what Edward says, ate that shit up. Ate that shit up? Mm -hmm. I was having a conversation with a friend how I was living in America uh, at the time where K-pop was almost starting to become popular. Um, Which was when? 20, 2000. like 2000. Eight, nine, around when Wonder Girls, nobody came out. No, that wasn't 18, 19. That was like way older. No, eight, nine. Oh, eight, eight, nine. eight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah like bub like bubbling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, J-pop was, anime was still more popular at the time, but. It's, yeah, it's always, yeah. Um, so, uh, there was a Korean community there. They did not care about being Korean. Mm. They didn't give a shit about the fact they were Korean. K-pop. K-pop comes into the picture. They suddenly are like, only speaking Korean now. They're all like, oh yeah, like, yeah, I'm, visiting, I'm going to Korea this summer. Like, mm -hmm. you suddenly care about being Korean now? 
Now that these the, Korean Americans, yeah, because I think they would grow up. They're like, oh wait, why don't I look like them mm-hmm. as a young kid? Mm-hmm. I want to be American. I'm yeah, American. yeah. So I ha- have to be. As they get older, I think they kind of yeah, yeah, respect their kind of, which is good. Age. I think it's good. It's good to your roots, your roots. But like the the sudden switch up is just so funny to me. Like now that K-pop's blowing up, they're like, mm. yeah, man, I'm Korean. Yeah, yeah. I, I had one friend. She was just so, she was the whitest Korean girl I've ever met. Mm-hmm. But all of a sudden after K-pop blew up, she's like, texting me any Korean now. Well, oh, 어디 I'm like, okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> I can see that because American girls are so over the top with Korean and everything that they Psy just want to see the Korean. Way. Psy did open the gateway, though. I think so. Psy was the gateway and BTS spread it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I believe that. And mm-hmm. there's so many people that try to shit on me for it. It was Big Bang. I'm like, no, that's you. It's Big Bang. In Korea, in, in Korea, well, Big Bang was in Korea was they huge. never made it global like BTS yeah. did. Mm-hmm. BTS Much was the true. first fucking group that yeah. ever did that. For us, it's Big Bang. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, it we really is. probably, I'm sure you never knew in a million years it would be BTS that would make it this. Way. Yeah, I would never expect that. We never did. Definitely. None of us. Yeah, but in Korea, definitely was where people knew the words to every song. Like it was Big Bang. Regular people. Big oh, Bang. Yeah. Big Bang. Yeah, they were the biggest. Mm-hmm. K-pop made Korea famous. True, true that. K, K, a combination of K-dramas and K-pop. So, Eddie, do you know Ire and he? Oh, honey, yes. Every time I hang out with Yuku, because y- Yuku was on peak time with them, I'm like, Yuku, hook it up. I want to collab with them. They're like, Which they're a group. They debuted a long, long, long time ago. You should do XG. Everything that. Um, you, listen, that's not happening. By the way, I listed their songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's good. I'm not gonna lie. The producer did a really good job. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. Shout out to Chancellor, shout out to Simon. Simon I'm just kidding. It's not the same Simon. Um What are we talking about? Oh yeah, um the group debuted a long time ago. I'm this so flop. What's then, your what's her name? I think they had a, a, a group name before I don't even remember. Boy group? A boy group. Oh, okay. There was like five members or something. Oh. Then uh, last year, uh or two years ago? Last year. JTBC had a program called Peak Time where the concept was it was like a boy survival show but all the groups are groups that Andeso groups that didn't make it Interesting. and uh, this group did really popular because their audition stage blew up went viral I guess because you know the guy sang really well but even though he wasn't the main singer um, wow. and so they re-debuted again with the two members called Seven of Us Seven Us Seven Us and so they just asked me do I know them and I'm like yes I fucking know them because I was a fan of them on the show mm. and my friend is in another group that was also on peak time, and I'm always, mm-hmm. whenever I hang out, I'm like, fuck it up. Mm-hmm. Because that company doesn't, I don't know. So, what do they do now? Now that they don't. Just regular hype though. Like, what kind of. Like, just regular idol stuff. They, their album came out. No, no, I mean, the people also on that program that. Some of them, like you know, tried to make comebacks. Some of them, you know. I don't. Apparently, peak time didn't do as well that. As well as because it's program itself. Yeah, because it was coming out at the same time as Boys Plant, which was huge. And then, so yeah. Who do you think is your celebrity look like? Well, apparently mine is Ollie London. So, <coughs> what about you? Who I you don't like her. People don't really tell me you look like somebody. Really? I look like my dad. Celebrity looks. No, I don't really hear. Could them. I? Have? I do hear them, but then I, I'm like, no, I don't know. Like who? Uh, I can't remember their names. But they're actors usually. Mm, yeah, I guess yeah. So. It's just actors usually. But then, I don't really think I. I don't know. I never really thought I look like this person. Like, who am I to say that? You know, it's just embarrassing. I noticed in Korea, they love talking about what celebrities a person looks like, mm. but the, they always get embarrassed and they're like, "No, no, I don't, I don't," because if they agree, mm. they're afraid, they're afraid the fans will come after them. Like, "No, you fucking don't look like him." Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but me, too, but me, for me, too, I can't remember their name. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but well, I mean, just me in general. And then they're like, "Oh, you look like oh." They show me a photo, and I'm like, "I, I don't. They're too. They're very handsome. I don't think mm. I look like that." You know, just because you, you truly don't believe you look like them. No, I don't think so. No, I, I wish I did, but like I, mm. I just don't think of it. Like, oh yeah, I look like that person. I mean, as long as you don't like Ollie London, you should be okay. So, Edward, what is your final assessment of Sean's makeup job? Okay, because I think I think you're ready to check out. So let's give a final final look. I didn't actually look at it close up. Let's see. I don't think I've ever put this this lip color. I always put it lightly, okay. so it looks like a certain color. Uh-huh. So I don't think I've ever seen it like this. But 
I can see you have an eye for like how to do the overlined lips. I try to make it big. Mm. It's a little bit messy, but I think with some practice, it would turn out really well. The eyes, actually, I feel like you have something going on. I think this would be good for Mude stage. Uh, Sweet dreams are made of Can you do it? Can you do it? Oh, that was a perfect bass. Sweet dreams are made of... That was perfect. Um, I do like the shimmer. And uh, I do... Um, I can see that you... I, I think I know what you're trying to go for with the, mm. this right here. But I really do have makeup remover, though. Really. Out of fun. Out of fun. <laughs> in the bathroom. I would hope so. Yeah. Make sure you move down. <laughs> I don't want you to walk around like that, please. No, we're good. Not the Wednesday Adam. Hey, thank you so much for the 1,100. Thank you very much. Uh, after a long time, I was able to join the stream. It was a fun today. Have a great day. Everybody. Yo. Thank you so much. Got it. Chunk. It's almost like a 90s share make. Honestly, yeah. I can see that. Share. Share. I like that. Do you believe in life after love? <laughs> you feel that song? Oh, Frozen. Yeah. Tokyo. I think Sean did great for the first time. I imagine it worse. Honestly, true. You actually did better than I was expecting. Really? Yeah. It's just more so like the details. Mm. Oh, but, oh, but the foundation was easy. You just pat it in, right? Yeah, you just pat it in. Isn't it? Yeah. You just like... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I use a brush. Yo! That's right, yeah. Okay, yes sir! I call it the deodorant stick. Yeah, it literally, it's a, yeah, it yeah, literally it's, literally it's a foundation stick. stick, yeah. It would be fine if it was a bit less, yes. True. Yeah, the, the color is different, huh? And like in the... But you did late Ninja Gem 1, it's still this thick. Ananji just ordered this though. When was the last time you did A few months ago. Oh. My, my last session. You're supposed to do it once a month. Could you? For at least 10 times, I did it 5 times. Uh, <laughs> just your energy makes the makeup look fine. I think you can wear anything. Honestly, that's true though. You know what? That's so fucking true. That's so true. You can have a fucked up face of makeup, but if you like rock it, that's totally. You, know? you, you embrace that shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because some of these people, I go to America, I go to Sephora, mm -hmm. see some of the associates there that work there. What, what kind of makeup do they do? The thing is, I think there's a policy about you have to wear, wear a certain number of products. From the store, oh. to, like in the case that someone, oh, what do you have on your eyes? Mm -hmm. You can tell them and advertise it, right? Mm -hmm. um, so some people really be like wearing too damn much. Mm -hmm. Not too, not too, but like they just don't know how to. I'm just like you work here at a makeup store and you look like this. Mm -hmm. No tea, no shade. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Oh, okay, Stosh, thank you so much for 12,000. Thank you for coming today, Edward. I really mean it. I would really love for Sean to have you back anytime. Thank you so much for Say 12, thank you 000. again, but in your Korean, your Hongdae boy accent. In, in Korean accent? Yeah, the, the, oh, you open mind to that one. That... Uh, thank you very much, Kamsamda. Thank you very much. You, you, look, you like the BTS? Yeah, you like the BTS? You perfect? You perfect? We perfect together. I have to wonder what type of people you'd be meeting to have this kind of reference. That I just came up with. Did you have this phase? No, I always spoke fluent English, so no, I never had Hey, 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 hey. Mm. Did you like BTS? You like BTS? No, i never done that before. Because once I say You open-minded? You open-minded? Oh my god. I hate that word though, open-minded. Yeah, it just sounds so... It's so overused. I don't even know what the yeah. fuck it means anymore. Yeah, true. Ed's my new favorite spirit out, the slutty raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> she said slutty raccoon. What is? The thing is, girl, I wish I was slutty raccoon because that means I'd be getting dick, but I'm not getting any dick, so I'm just a raccoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Sweet. Sorry. Um. So, mm -hmm. how are we going to end today's live? Are you sure you don't want to get rid of it? That's get rid of it on live? Oh, you want to get rid of that? I guess so. Okay. I mean, you oh, know. Blue Dolphin, thank you so much for the 10,000. Edwards makeup, the show was really awesome today. I'm so glad that I was off work today and could watch. Yo, so thank you. I, I, because I, I don't know if I mentioned this last time. There's those makeup brands that they'll do Instagram lives. Like maybe they release a new product. And so they're just <coughs> showing a demonstration of it on Instagram live, right? And they'll have models. And every time they do a step, the model always is like, so I'm imagining if you were the makeup artist and you did this makeup on them, but they have to they have to sell it. So looking like I mean that's basically what I did this whole time. Just that's so awkward. You know what I thought was really awkward. Mm -hmm. You know, and if you look at Richie Benku, mm -hmm. those shows, 
after the song ends, they have to look. They have to look at the camera while the ending fairy, <laughs> like, ending Yozo. Yeah, breathing heavy, and they have to look at the camera like look. You know. Yeah. I was like, man, I don't think I could do that. And doing this, all this. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's so awkward. No? My favorite is the uh, producer one in Japan. Oh, they have a Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that? It went viral because like, it was crazy. Like dudes? Yeah. Can you do it again? <laughs> it's too much work. And it's funny because I kind of look like I could be on there. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. He was biting his fist for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> What's the groove? Um, I don't know if they made it and debuted. I just know that they were. Oh, it, it was like the... Because you know every season of those shows has like a signal song. I thought Buddhist one was a Korean show. They had it in Japan. They had it in Japan after oh. the, the, the Korean ones but did so well. Ah, uh, but the Produce 101 is producers that come out? Uh, no, it's just called Produce 101 because the people watching, they're voting for them. Mm-hmm. So they're called producers. Ah. Oh, because they're okay. the ones making the group technically. So it's they're already debuted idol groups or they're... No, they're, they're, they're all happen. trainees. Oh. So they start with 101 trainees and they... Do mission and stuff to narrow it down. That's just one on one. Oh, and then the group wins. There's a group that's gonna win. Uh, the, at the very end, the top like eleven mm. are picked, and they create they form the group with eleven people. Mm. Bro, seventeen has like thirteen people. How do you imagine? NTT twenty NTT has like Dude, I bet, I forty-five people. <laughs> I guarantee not every not all of them don't really get along. That's why there's controversy because Mnet was there's no rigging, rigging the boat. Uh. So they, they already had, they already set who was going to be in the group, but they made the show, make it look they like... They rigged it? Yeah. That's why there was a controversy with it. Oh, really? Yeah. It was rigged? Really... Yeah. Uh-huh. There was so much drama with that. So it was already... Planned who was going to be the group. But they just, the, the vibe of the show was like, oh, you're voting for, you know. So that's, so because there is that worry about, um, allegedly, what I had heard, don't quote me on this, the season that Chang Won Young was on, produced 48, mm. apparently the top, oh, was it 11? They were all, the original vote was originally, they were all Japanese members. Based off the bo- the real votes alone, all of them would have had been Japanese members, but mm-hmm. it's a Korean show. You can't have all Japanese members win, right? It has to be Korean members. So, you know, it was rigged so that the members were already chosen and they only put three Japanese members in there. Three Japanese members? Yeah. Now they don't do those shows, shows anymore? Yeah, they could because of the controversy. It's basically do the same show, but just under a different name. Mm-hmm. But people still eat that shit up. Mm-hmm. Oh, Joel, thank you so much for the 100. <laughs> thank you so for funny lunch break at work. I love your energy. I'm so excited for my Friday morning. You too is amazing. Love you guys. Love you. So how did you feel about the makeup today? Your, your final assessment, your final comment. I know I kept joking and being like, what the fuck, what the fuck? But it's actually... Uh, definitely, I can see with practice, we can we, we get a, a good base. So it's not bad, but it's just... What do you think I have to improve on? Um, blending, application, like where you apply it, and mm-hmm. color choice. Mm-hmm. But other than that... Not bad? Not bad. One out of ten. Um, for our first time? First time. Five or six. Oh, wow, that's actually... Which is pretty good, pretty nice. I think. Yeah. What, I, I, what if I actually royally fucked it up? Like, how would it look if like you... I tried to fuck with you and I just fucked it up. I would believe you. I would be surprised. Yeah. My goal was to make you look a disco ball. With the skin? Hmm? With the skin? Cause no, like... eyes. Like, I wanted... Ah! Glitter eyes. If I had known that, I could have brought more stuff for that. Mm. But I didn't know the concept, so... I've been watching the live getting ready this morning, and you guys have brought my energy up. Thanks. I mean... Or, you're welcome, Ingo. Great. Thank you. See you. Honestly, I think he did pretty good considering what he said he was going to. Yeah. I mean, it is it is giving disco ball. So. Mm. My, my lips literally look like a butthole. Good job, huh? Oh, wow. Look! That's the thumbnail. Just zoom into a prolapse butthole. Maybe I can start to try and butthole lips. Hashtag butthole lips. I love how you're, 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 you have a little dry lips right now, so it mm. has like ridges, mm. just like an ass. Yeah. This is me after Friday night. 
Edward. <laughs> I'm just I'm sorry. Okay. Edward, that, was, that, that was a little too much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next live. Yeah. Annyeong. We'll see you next time. I'll be back, though. I'll be back. Uh, Edward, thank you so much for coming. You want to end it like that? Okay. I'll see you guys later. Okay?
Hello? These lights. Boy, they won't be too dark. Oh, I'll just leave one on. Hello, how are you? Give me a second, give me one second. Hello? Sorry about that. My uh, hands are bleeding. I don't know why. Uh, hello, everyone. Did you guys enjoy it? Oh my god! Yeah, if I turn off the slides, it's going to be too much, huh? Oh, so bad. Not so bad. We're still here. Oh. You know, you have to sing a song. You know what? I, I can I can I, I have to do that song on Monday, because I just didn't have I just didn't have the time at all to like study and actually practice the song. I really apologize, Art, but I I'm, can I can you can I take a rain check on that? I have to sing it on Monday. You need a normal mood lighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna have to sing for you on Monday. I just have not prepared the song at all. I couldn't. I didn't have the time, and it's in Japanese too. So just I'll practice it through the weekend, and then I'll get to you by the uh, by on Monday. I promise I'll sing it on Monday. I just haven't got the time to prepare for it. It was it's a Japanese song. Is that okay, Art? I'll pra I'll try I'll practice it this weekend, and I'll sing sing it for you on Monday. I just couldn't have the time to prepare for it. I love today's stream. Thank you very much. Yeah, I enjoyed it too. It was very fun. 
And I think, why does my username have a gift added to it? I have no idea. I think somebody gifted you with a subscription. Sure thing. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll, I promise I'll have it prepared by Monday. Night was so much fun. Oh, did you guys enjoy the stream? Huh? It was funny, right? Yeah. You know. I had a good time. Did you guys have a good time too? Huh? You guys have... Ah! Ay, she... Ay, hey, sh... Ah. Crystal Clear, thank you so much for the 1,000. Not bad for first time makeup. I did a pretty good job. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know shit about makeup, but I feel... Like I did a good job. Um, yes, the stream was great. Thank you for the good laugh. All right. All right, all right, all right. Edward, the rest of fresh air also early in the morning. That's nice. For a first time, not so bad. Guys, you're not going to believe it. Remember I told you, did I remember I told you guys at my boxing gym? There's this um, girl. She's fucking good as fuck. Um, I sparred with her today. It's awesome. Uh, she was like, I was just shadow boxing doing my thing. And she went up to my coach and was like, I think I can spar. I think she really, she's always sparring. She's always sparring with somebody. And um, I, she was like, she went, she, she was, I could tell she was eyeing me from a far away. She was like eyeing me. And she was like, I think he, he can spar. And my coach was like, he only did one month. Like, there's no way he can spar you. And she was like, and then my coach went up to me, came up to me and was like, you want to try sparring? And I'm like, fuck yeah, I'd spar anybody. Right? I was like, yes, yes. And then, you know, she was, she was, first of all, she was the sweetest person. She was amazing. She was so nice. She was very, very sweet. And um, it's, that's the thing about people, like, if they're fucking good, they're usually the sweetest people. And um, it was fun. It was really fun. I learned that she was actually teaching me whilst we were sparring. You know, she was teaching me while we were sparring. She wasn't just, she didn't really go full on me. Obviously, I'm a one-month baby, so. She, she really kind of, like, taught me whilst we were sparring how to go in, how to counter, and then. And then at one point, I think she was just like, just go for it. You can just hit me, you know? And I was like, okay, I just went for it. And then it was fun. It was really fun. Like, I landed some clean shots. And then after it was done, she was like, obviously, she went easy on me. She didn't go full on. Um, and then she was like, so how long did you do? Like, six months, seven months? And I'm like, no, I, this is my first month. She's like, what? She was like, there's no fucking way. You only did one month. And I was like, yeah. And then she was like, um, did you do any sort of like kickboxing or did you do any sort of are you like any sort of martial art i was like no and she was like damn dude you, she was like you're for one month she was like holy shit and i was like could you please spar me again she was i was like could you please spar me again and she was like anytime so i'm gonna i was like i'd love to learn from you like i'd really love to learn from you and i, I would love for you for you to for you to teach me and then she was like um yeah sure i'll spar you anytime so i think yeah that it was amazing and i was like and she was so she was such a nice person uh, yeah she's not my age she's probably like i think she's like in her four like at she late 30s early 40s i think um yeah like she was like you know she was she was like She's like, uh, she, she was like, kind of like my, uh, like she, she's like, a, like I'm her nephew and she's like my aunt, kind of, you know. She was very like, you know, teaching me how to, you know, it's different sparring than the bag, right? Yeah, it's completely different. I, I mean, it was so fun though. Like, I mean, I got some pretty clean shots in. You know what's so funny? I was literally like, I, I don't know what got into me. She was an athlete. No, she was actually, she was a kickboxer. She was a pro kickboxer. Do I hear a cry? No, it's not. No, please. No, it's something like that. Um, it was like, um, like, so out of nowhere, 
she was like coming at me with combinations and I was just like I automatically just did the Floyd Mayor or the Philly show and I was just like you know an uppercut and I got I landed a clean shot like cause I only I watched a lot of Floyd Mayor with the clips and then like out of nowhere I just started defending myself like that and I was just like kind of you know doing that <laughs> out of nowhere I never even learned it but it just instinctively I just started doing that and I think it's I was like okay I guess it's something that I have to learn and then she was like hitting my body and I was like fuck and I just hit her with the uppercut she was like Pum. and she was like that was good she was like good I was like oh yeah and I did I did this sick move I, did, I was I was she, she pulled me into the corner right she pulled me into the corner and I was just doing that and then she, I knew she was gonna come with the one too so I back and I, I rolled and I got her out of the corner and I was like so I realized like you learn only when you um, you have to spar with people better than you. Doesn't it feel badass? I was fucking oh man. But yeah, I think I'm gonna spar with her a lot to learn shit. You know. The excitement in your book. It was something else, man. Like, I'm... Fuck. It was so fun. I got fucked, though. She fucked me up. But, like, you know. She was a pro kickboxing. She was she was an athlete. She was a pro kickboxer. But then she got um, her legs. She fucked up her legs whilst fighting. And then so she had to... She's like a man's woman, kind of. The way she talks, too. She's like... She's like... It's like as if I'm talking to a bro. You know? She has that energy. of She's like a man's woman energy. And so, yeah, it, to me, it was like, I, it was really comfortable too. It made me feel like I was like just hanging out with a dude, you know? And so, um, yeah, and she, I, I asked her, I was like, can you please spar me again? Like, I'd love to spar with you again. She was like, anytime. So I was like, oh, that's, that's sweet of her. Because normally you want to spar people better than you, but she's willing to like teach me and shit. And like, while we were sparring, she was like, no, 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 no. You come with your right and then you, tw you know, and then she would just like teach me whilst sparring, which is fun. Did you record it? No, I, I should record it though. Next time I spar, I'll record it. Because she just went so light on me. She just did, she just kind of like did really light. She didn't try to do any, like she didn't take it seriously, obviously. Because my coach was telling her like, go easy on him. <laughs> he's only he's one month baby, you know. Bring up the chat. Oh, thank you. And then the notification. Yeah, but it was it was it, it was it was super fun. It was really fun. She beat the fuck out of me, but yeah, it was great. She started potential and can tell you're a natural. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think so. I think that's why like my coach was like, "You want to try?" Because she knew that I had, I, he knows that I had an act for it. And while I was shadow boxing, she saw me from afar and she was like, "Oh, he seems pretty good." So she never have guessed like. She she heard that I was a one month. I did one month, and then after we sparred, she was like, "Did you do six, seven months? Like six months, seven months?" I'm like, "No, I just did one month." I like to make it just the eyeshadow bothers me. I, I you know I overdid it. I I wanted. To, I thought you had to do the whole thing. Are you gonna stay at this gym for good? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. And she's taller than me too. She's like 185. She's like a little shorter than my brother. Oh, she's huge too. I love how passionate you are with boxing. You've never been that way about the gym. Yeah, the gym weightlifting, I did it because I just had to do it. I felt like I had to do it. But then with boxing, it's like, I want to do it. It's so, it's something else. He let you use 14 ounce? Yeah, we use 14 ounce, yeah. But the the gloves that I train with is the Venoms. They're six they're actually 14 ounce gloves, but they're like as big as 16 ounce. Venoms are just bigger than normal. And then um I remember I put on my this guy had a 10 ounce glove. I put it on and I was like, what the fuck? I was so fast because my 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 hands were so used to, you know, 
um, it's like 16 ounce. Are Venoms any good? It's okay. The gloves are nice. I got the Venom Elite glove, boxing gloves, which is soft. It's like soft, but it's big though. I think you should just get, if you're going to get an 8 ounce, if you're getting an 8 ounce gloves, you're going to get a 10 ounce. If you get a 12 ounce, you're going to get a 14 ounce. If you order a 14 ounce, you're going to get a 16 ounce. 16 ounce are probably fucking like 18 ounce. It's just bigger. Some music venoms. I should have just got fucking 12 ounce. Or no, I should have just got 10 ounce. But my Reyes gloves are coming. Still on its way. It's still not here. It's gonna come like early February. And I'm like, are you serious? I'm I'm probably just gonna just use 10 ounce for bag work and stuff. But have you lost weight? I I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really trying to lose weight right now. I'm going to start really... I'm going to really start shedding and cutting weight like... Like, um... I'm really going to start sh cutting and shedding weight like... Um... Like, probably like, uh... Like... After Japan, I'm really going to start cutting down. And getting, like, top, top shape. Like... Mm, uh, yeah, for sure. I think, because right now I'm eating whatever the fuck I want because I'm so hungry all the time because I train three hours. And fuck me. Like, when you're when you're sparring with someone that good, every round is three minutes. Three minutes feels like three fucking hours. I was dying. Third round, oh my God. I was like... <sighs> it's no joke, man. Third round, I was dying. Yeah, the fuck... Man, they feel like three hours. The third round, I was dying. I was just like... <laughs> you know? Yeah, but it was fun, though. No, you just know the form. Her footwork, her cadence, her how she moves, like how she does her head movement. Like, everything was... It, it, she, she was... I can tell you. She can tell you. You can tell. Just, now, I can tell if someone's a good boxer just by how they jump rope. Like, I can, I can tell, you know? When they corner, you breathe a lot. Yeah, you forget about everything. You're just trying to, it's like survival and to kick in. I'm just trying to like, you know. Well, you can tell. Like, now I can, if it just like the way they jump rope, I can tell if they're a good at boxing or not. When they corner, you breathe out a lot. Like, like, shh, shh, like, like that. You look good today, Sean. Did you, did Eddie style you? No. <laughs> no. And, um, whoever smokes is very difficult. I'm gonna, yeah, you know what? I've genuinely been thinking lately, like, I might actually quit soon because of boxing. I realized, like, third round, I was dead. I was like, fuck. That's not good. Because if I want to, if I want to go out on competition, <laughs> mm -mm, you know, so I'm actually contemplating whether or not the price goes up or down. I'm really contemplating whether I should quit or not. Because it's not acceptable. Third round, I was tired. Fuck that. Like, I was, But then, to be fair, I was running around a lot trying to, like, because I, I, I had to keep a distance because I was like, I can't, I don't, I, I don't know how to go in. When they hit you, breathe out your jab out and push her away and hit. Yeah, that's what I did. Like, I tried to, I tried to jab her away from me. And I still don't know how to counter punch. I didn't, I, I, I learned nothing. I learned nothing. So like, you're, it's like, it's like you're getting a regular dude throwing him in a lion's cage. Like, I, I, I don't know anything, but I just, I just, the the amount of studying because all I do in my free time is just boxing clips so all that studying I did it all that watching just instinctively just kicked in when I was like just boxing which is cool I thought it was fucking cool I was doing shit that my coach didn't even teach me that I was just would watch which was I thought was pretty cool I don't want to quit smoking but I don't want to quit boxing <laughs> I mean you can still smoke and do boxing you know, you're not going to be a pro
Did your brother? No, 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 my brother didn't. I don't know why he didn't want to do it. All that comes to mind is you now. Oh, yeah, see? Yeah, I'm going to be the face of boxing. Korea number one. Mr. Korea boxing. You know? Maintaining what you see is a great thing. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, I hurt my hand. I don't know why my hand's bleeding. I don't know why. It's seven years. It's seven and seven years, so I have three shoes on there. Huh? Yeah, but she did. She, she's she been training for like eight, ten years or something. I have no fucking chance. I'll send you some badass counter moves in slow motion and it will make sense too with your brother. Yeah, I'm, I just don't know any counter moves. I didn't learn anything. My coach was just like, no, no, no. You just focus on one, two. That's all you have to focus on. Just focus on the jab, cross, jab, cross. Just focus on that right now. You don't have to learn anything. He taught me how to do, like, he taught me how to do a left hook, but then... That too, it's like, I don't, like, how, how, like, yeah, I don't know. We'll see you on the big screens one day, bye. <laughs> it's like, what, like the Asian lost son? Korean lost son of Rocky or something? Like, Rocky had a girlfriend in, like, high school, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I have to learn basics first, but then, yeah. But it kind of instinctively just kicks in, though. I love how your coach went 360 with how good he's treating you now. Yeah, 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 because, you know, I'm sure at the time he thought me and my brother was going to quit. But then we fucking show up and almost every single day, so. Tomorrow, I mean, I'm, I'm even going to go train tomorrow, you know. You are so puppy coated. What the fuck does that mean? Puppy coated. What, is it? what the hell does that mean? You're scouting other gyms. No, I don't think so. I'm so. It feels. It feels so homey. That gym now. So. You know. Can you put your mic a little closer? Yeah, I'll do that. Then. I'll do that. Like, I'm as if I'm in a fucking podcast, you know? It's so weird to see you streaming without the background. Yeah, I know. I just, just for today, just for today, you know? But I think next week, Sunday, I'm going to go to the Airbnb with Edward, too. I think Edward's going to come as well next Sunday. So if you guys can, if you guys do have the time and the luxury to watch me um, on next week, Sunday, that will be great. I need a Sean and Edward talk show for real. That was fun. <laughs> Try to put pressure on the wound. That's fine. Sunday, I think like... Sunday, 8.30? 9? Let's do 8.30. 8.30 p.m. current standard time. I'm going to try to vlog it too with my new camera. Is it you and Edward? No. I think it's going to be me, Flo, uh, my, uh, Flo, Daniel, and Edward, us four. 14th, yes. No, my, my fucking finger it started bleeding here. I don't know why. I don't fucking know. I don't know where. I, I don't even know where. I don't know. I might not stream it if you guys are like, oh, that's too early. It's a Sunday. I'm not going to show up then. You know. Will you put it on YouTube? Yeah, probably. I think I'm going to try vlogging it. I'm pro it's probably going to be shit, but. I will be there if it's before 8 a.m. my time. Perfect. 
No stream, I'm off that day. Okay, Sundays are perfect. Awesome! Okay, let's do it. It could be 9, it could be 8.30. I'll keep you guys updated though next week. I mean, we still haven't really even got the place, you know? It's done, we have to get the place first. Next week is 14th, um, let's see, next week, Sunday would be to the 20, no, the 21st. Oh my god, and then I'm going to Japan, ha, 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 go to Japan. Yes! Monday, you move to YouTube this Monday, right? Yeah. I'll wake up early to watch you. I, ha I even went home early from school today because I didn't want to miss this live, so I just acted like my stomach is hurting. Oh, that's so sweet. That's good. I hate the fact that you're leaving school early, and I know for a fact, I know for a fact that I'm supposed to say, you know what? You are wrong. You should have stayed in school, but fuck school. Thank you. That's so sweet. Who cares about school, man? Who cares? Fuck. Who cares? I'm just joking. Please study, though. Don't be like me and get a fucking 0 0.7 GPA, okay? So will Monday be your first stream on YouTube? Yes, well, Monday will be my first stream on YouTube, yes. Yeah, I got a lot to do this weekend, fuck me. I gotta prepare the YouTube thing and, you know. What date are you leaving for Japan? Uh, January 24th. But anyway, ladies, thank you so much for watching today. Huh? I'm, I'm glad you had a good time. I'll keep you guys updated on the Airbnb exactly what time it's going to be. But um, I don't know, hoping, you know, I'm trying to get some guests next week. Not sure yet, so I can't exactly say. But I'll keep you guys updated, though. Uh, everyone, listen, have a beautiful weekend, okay? Have a beautiful uh, day. Stay safe. Don't do anything stupid. Huh? Yeah? And then I was... Oh, Crystal Clear. Thank you so much for the 101. Um, last bits of Twitch. I know. I know this... Actually, yeah, this is going to be my last stream on Twitch. Oh my god, right. Oh yeah, oh no. Now that, I, now that you think about it. Wait, I missed it? Yeah, you fucking missed it. I know, right? This is going to be my... Did you guys notice? This is going to be my last stream on Twitch. I mean, everything's still going to be the fucking same, but... You know. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. And last stream on Twitch. I know. But you know what? We move on. We do better shit. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be fun. Okay, but anyway. Oh, okay, Stosh. Thank you so much. 3,300. Here are my last bits. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cigar, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, last bits, right? Oh no. Yeah, but anyway, thank you. So I love you. I love you too, cigar. I I finish your candle. I use up your all your candle, by the way. Mel's, thank you so much for the fifty. Mel's, thank you so much. Oh my goodness, Blue Dolphin, thank you so much for thirty thousand. Here's the last bit I have. Ja! Ah! Blue Dolphin, thank you so much for the thirty thousand. Oh my, you guys are making me cry, man. You guys are making me cry. But then. Yes, um, I know some people. Blue Dolphin, thank you so much for 30,000. I'll see you guys on YouTube, though. Willow, thank you so much for the 59, my marketer. Thank you so much. By the way, um, the donation thing, bits don't exist in YouTube. So I will make a separate uh, cigar. Thank you so much for the 300. Thank you very much. Um, so basically, um, there's going to be a Streamlabs donation link. And Streamlabs donation link is actually better because I get a lot of it. Bits, some Twitch takes a little bit of it, but Streamlabs donations, I get straight everything. So uh, I'll work that up and then um, 
there's gifts there. No, no, I'm not monetized yet. No, 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 no. I'm not monetized yet. Once I get monetized, you know, you know. Super chats. No, 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 no. Super chats. I can't get them because I'm not monetized yet. So um, I'll give you guys the Streamlabs link uh, later on Monday. Okay. All right. Thank you guys, everyone, for the support. Sekar, thank you so much for the five. <laughs> Just getting rid of the bits. Everyone, thank you so much um, for today. I'll see you guys on Monday. New new shit, right? Uh, and I'm going to film a Q&A video for my YouTube uh, on the weekends. Can we talk to Sean on YouTube? Absolutely. So, uh, is, uh, Isabel, thank you so much for the 100. Thank you very much. Kelly, thank you so much for the 832. Kelly, thank you so much for the 832. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> I can't finish. Age Batman Follow, thank you so much for the 6 bits. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm going to do like a YouTube Q&A. YouTube. Uh, it's going to be the same, everyone. It, it's going to be the same. Okay, there's not going to be a difference. So, uh, but what the fuck was I was going to say? <sighs> yeah, I'm going to do a Q&A for YouTube, like my YouTube channel. Um, so, yeah. But I'm still going to be here on YouTube, though, right? Well, it's, it's still always just going to be the same. Okay. But anyway, everyone, have a beautiful weekend, and I'll see you guys next week. I'll see you on YouTube. Huh? All right. Everyone, have a beautiful weekend, and I'll see you next week. <sighs> oh, Olivia Blue, thank you so much with the 48. Thank you so much. Alexia, thank you so much with the 100. Thank you very much. <laughs> I can't finish. <laughs> I can't finish. Uh, everyone, thank you so much. Have a beautiful weekend.